We are live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the stream. It'll take a minute for the people actually watching the stream to pile in here, but if you're watching this later on YouTube or, I guess, Facebook, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I guess it's Monday. I forget that when we're streaming. It is Monday, Zach. It feels people... like Monday. Some Mondays feel a lot more like Monday than others. Got a case of the Mondays? Isn't that is that interesting? A yeah. I don't know. Not, not really. But there is a, there's a, uh, an inertia, a sluggishness sometimes to it. Well, it's you gotta hard get, to get back. You've got to get things going. Because you, you kind of switch gears over the weekend. Yeah. Either a lot of times you either kind of slow it down or you speed it up and you do all different things. Mm -hmm. And then you just come back to work and it's like, all right, now I got to get back to this. There's there's no uh, lack of shock involved in going from doing what you want to do to doing what you have to do every week. All right. This is <laughs> you good know, feedback. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, just in general, like life in general. It happened, it's been happening since day one, you know? It's like you don't necessarily want to go to school. Well, for, for much of our lives, maybe we do. Looking back, that's one of the weirdest things to me. Yeah. It's like how much school you had to go to and yeah. how much I didn't really enjoy it. So. Although it was, it was pretty okay, I guess. Adult life is way more like, uh, I just need to achieve like a level of income, you know, to live. That's fair. There's a lot more, more pressure in having to do the things you maybe don't want to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess, but also, like, when I was a kid, I didn't really have a choice at all. Sure. Like, there was zero agency. It's yeah. just like, you're going to go to school, and you're going to pass. Or Is the end goal full agency, ultimately? For some, maybe. For me, it 100% is. Wake up every day and be like, what today? That'd be super satisfying. Although, maybe it'd get old. All right, hey, everybody, I see people piling in here on the comments. We're Welcome actually, to the stream. Uh, on now. Yeah, we are. If you could, uh, let us know how it looks and sounds to make sure that we're good to go and we're not, uh, you know, don't want to get an hour into this and realize you can't, can't see or hear. Uh, what we're going to be doing today, I'm Zach. This is Steven. Hi. And he, we're both going to be playing decks using characters from the upcoming set of Star Wars Destiny Convergence. I have, I have Infus Nest paired with Yoda, Infus being the new character. Steven's got the new Palpatine paired with Anakin, um, and we're going to be playing a couple games here, just exploring the new cards and having a good time. So if you have any questions, let us know. Man, I've got... So, hey, I, on the Restream app, you can do a compact chat now, and it looks amazing. I can see, like, so much more of the chat. Look at that. Oh, how do you do that? Uh, it gave me a little prompt, but it's in appearance somewhere. Uh, and to address, this is not the stream where you get that new Luminera. Uh, we're not showing anything today but we are playing with the cards that have been previewed so far, uh, a number of them at least. So the new Palpatine and Infus Nest. Just gonna see what they're like on the table. These are not real dice. We have gone through a, uh, a advanced, fancy process of actually getting these to look like the real dice and printing them off and, and doing all of the images and whatnot. So We basically uh, bought some circle stickers. Huge shout out to... <laughs> Kira, who runs our stream and produces all of our videos, uh, came up with this idea, and, and it did exceedingly well. It's going to be way better. Way better than those way D6s. Easier. So uh, for those that don't know, I'm going to bring up real quick Palpatine and, um, I believe, Infus Nest. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm making sure it's here. So we're going to bring up Palpatine on the screen. Can you read them, read them real quick for me, Steve? Hold on. Before you do that, can you just show off what we've got? Can you just show off the new capability? Uh oh, here we go. Just, right, so just pass it around the infield. Let's, We've right, been let's, making let's some take improvements Palpatine around down. here. We're, we're, we are. We're looking at the live <laughs> show stream. Show what you got. Uh, we're obviously doing it every week. So, uh, I don't know. We, I just showed a card. Um, I can show this, which is just some nice uh, various ads There's going some, on. Yeah, there, some products you, and services we offer. Everybody just go ahead and buy one of each. If you yep. would, please. I think Thank that's you. what you're supposed to do. Um, <laughs> Anyways, I can go bigger on the player cams, which Whoa, is cool. Whoa, look at that. Yeah, just in case you really want to see us, I can go smaller. This is one of my favorites, and I think it's your favorite, which yeah, is... give it to me. I can switch to just oh, a single hey. camera mode. There's Steven. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then I can switch from Steven back to me, which there is There it is. Yeah, look at uh, it. Full on. Then I can cancel out of that. We can get rid of the player cams. Woo! We can bring them back in. And, of course, we can show cards. Uh, like the new Palpatine, and I think that's it. Uh, there's we, other things I can do, but it, it really... This is only the beginning. Yeah, I have a, like, a we're away screen, but that yeah. turns the audio off, and it puts on some, like, elevator music. We're going to get into some, uh, some like, fireworks, some some stuff happening on the screen. Let's just blow it up. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go crazy. Can we get GIFs? Uh... And a soundboard? I'm just kidding. I, absolutely. Can you imagine a GIF where, Dancing. like... 
I could just like respond to one of your plays with a, my, you know, whatever gift. I think I it'd want. be a lot of fun. We could do that one with Teresa May that I think is just the greatest. That weird walking one. Oh my <laughs> yes. gosh! Every time it just kills. I would, I would. We both need a board so that I can have gift control That's as right. well. We can just I spam wonder, each other. That, <laughs> we each had a board as next level. That's actually we're a, like dueling, yeah. uh, dueling swipes. Okay, now let's talk about uh, Palpatine. To answer your question, first of all, welcome everybody who is at the stream. I'm seeing some chats roll in, so I will address those here in just a second. Uh, this is unlimited power Palpatine, which to me says, uh, is, this the, is this the ultimate Palpatine, ultimately? It's the ultimate form? Are we ever going to see a more powerful Palpatine than this? Um, I mean, I feel like the original Palpatine was more powerful. He, sure. The problem with the original Palpatine, he, he was 28 points elite. So yes. you, you had to play him by yourself, and for me personally, that's just not... Some would say that's really limited power. He's just really strong, though. Yeah. Like, if he hits, he hits you like a truck. Um, but anyways, that, that was never my favorite, because I just felt like it was too many eggs in one basket. Yeah. And it's a certain style of play, and some people really love that. I see D-Rod on the screen. He, he did very well at a lot of events here with it. Um, but this, to me, symbolizes the, like, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Use a lot of the force because in the original movies you don't really see Palpatine do much. Yeah, he that's does true. lightning. That's about it. That's true. Uh, but this is him hurling those like Senate seats at Yoda and stuff, which you wouldn't know because uh, <laughs> you opted out of that movie. Still haven't seen three, yeah. and I think it's a part of my personality now. It's like Jonathan, I'm watching The Godfather. Speaking of Jonathan, can you mute that computer? Yes. I think I hear the preview noises coming through. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give that a crack. This is nothing I would normally ever play in a game like Destiny, so it's going to be pretty poor, which is what a lot of people may have come to expect. But I do have lightsaber mastery, and I've got two events under there, and I just for everybody's reference to know, um, I'm using Deflecting Slash and Circle of Shelter as my two. So those are mainly, those are very conditional events that are exceedingly good when Ceresu or Cerizu or Chorizo mastery is in play. <laughs> Chorizo. So, I am uh, basically using these as my, once the mastery is in play, I can start using that lightsaber mastery ability and really uh, start to take over the game, is my hope. Yeah, and, and actually... Then we've also got Anakin, which I didn't even fully realize that I had two die Anakin going on here. Yep, and I just, let me make sure I get the battlefield. To discard for damage, okay. Classic <clears throat> Annie. Yeah, he's a, it's worth noting, he's a neutral character. So if we end up on your on either Theed Palace, you'll get that extra action whenever you activate. So, so it's interesting. I, I mean, well. I'm not even playing Destiny in a in a serious way right now. I'm not training for anything. You know, I'm not just like, having a good time. I'm just having a good time, but I am already so tired of seeing Theed. Like I can't even. I I think they're gonna have to do something about it. It's it's. Uh, I'm already just like sigh. You know, it's like one part of the game is kind of. I posted no, links to the decks here for anyone who wants to see it. So also worth noting on your deck, because you have Lightsaber Mastery, which gives you light access to some events without having to have them in your hand, New Palpatine wants to take advantage of those abilities, a lot of upgrades. So the deck is very upgrade heavy. Yeah. And the assumption is that your opponent's going to go at Palpatine first. Yeah. And by the time he's going to die, when you're, you, know, you might get three or four upgrades on him and make him 13, 14 health. Um, that you have redeploy upgrades that go over to Anakin, and then Anakin can kind of finish the game. Yeah, so it's a classic Star Wars Destiny strategy. Now, meantime, you're over here with Infus Nest. Um, is it Infus or Infus? I think it's, it's Infus, Infus, right? Infus Nest. Did they say yeah. it in the movie? Yeah, it was Infus. I definitely yeah, Beckett watched. says it like a couple times, okay. and that's it. Um, so what's your what's your game plan here with Yoda? So the thing of this deck, I, I'm running Bitter Rivalry. I'm going to pull up Infus really quick so people can see it. Uh, so she's 12 health. 14 points, 18 points. She has a one melee, two melee for a resource, three melee for a resource, a shield, and then two resources, but it costs a resource. She also has a power action that can resolve with three of my scoundrel dice, using uh, showing the same symbol for free. Okay, I get it. Yeah, so yeah. if it was on, you know, the if I had two two resources showing, I could resolve both of those yeah, for hates. free, which is crazy. That's amazing. Um, which with Yoda is actually pretty reasonable because I can use his specials to turn, or he has a two focus as well. Um, but a lot of people, I think, when they see Infus for the first time, they kind of get stuck on using that power action mm -hmm. and getting those free dice. So a lot of people want to pair with a scoundrel so that you get even more use out of that that kind of momentum. That seems like what I'd do. Which is, is fair, but to me, the other thing she has is you can include up to two villain cards and two hero cards in your deck. Um, so that either means if you're running all neutral, which I actually looked at running it with Elite Anakin, and then the minus one neutral plot that gives all your neutral characters plus one health. Yeah. Um, it means you get to bring in two hero and two villain cards into the same deck, which is cool. Instead, I chose to build a hero deck which means I also just get to port two villain cards in. 
Which is supremely powerful. Yeah, because it's Vader's fist, right? Right now, it's hundred percent Vader's <laughs> fist. The other, the other. So you just take the best card in villain and put it in this. One hundred percent. Yeah, okay. I think she's going to be a card that we see a lot of at fourteen points, where it like it's can, just the ability. It's right? just the ability. Yeah. So fourteen points, and then you slot in two eight cost characters of the other two colors, and you get to bring in two of the best cards from the other side. Because there's just combinations of cards that are not supposed to happen. Yeah. Uh, and it like, makes I, me nervous. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's... It's only two, so it's going to be pretty hard. Only two. But the other version of the deck that I was looking at is actually Force Storm that's in your deck. Um, let me see if I have that one on tap here. So that's where the new cards come from Convergence as well. It's a four-cost force ability. Um, that's particularly good on Yoda. Yep. So like I looked at having that in the deck because yeah. you can Oof. special into that Ouch. hit and it rolls itself back that's in. That's amazing. Yeah, it's it's... Pretty strong. So, so there's a lot of... and it, Actually, just thinking of Yoda with any villain cards uh, available is kind of scary. So anything with a special symbol now becomes really terrifying. Yeah, because huh. he, he gets access to all that. So well, um, anyways, that's the the story of the deck. Uh, my, my, my deck's literally trying to get Vader's Fist on the board or just a bunch of upgrades and, and go to town. So, cool. I mean, classic Yoda. You, you ran Yoda with Zeb last year. Oh, yeah. So it's just Yoda with a big stick. Yep. Um, <laughs> big Geimer goes. stick. He's just hitting people. What's with. the bitter rivalry? Oh, that's about? really bad for me. So I had to do that to get to 30 points. It's minus one point, but at the start of the game, you get to choose one of my characters and do two unblockable damage to it. Nice. And you get to draw an extra card. So I should... This is a classic. See, I had people having to make this decision when I was, when I was running that uh, deck back then in trilogies. Do you do you go for Yoda first? Absolutely. You think so? <laughs> he's got two less health, and he's my fixer. Yeah. So like, especially he's your Cohen, huh? yeah, once. So I could go. Right. <laughs> so so he would start at eight. So presumably, I mean, this first turn I could just ace him. That would be. There's a, a world where that could happen. Yeah, and if yeah. not, at least early second turn. Because um, otherwise, I'm just going to build resources and it's going to get tough. Yeah. Um, and at least with Infus, it's like that power action is only once around. Um, so I have to get to both sides showing melee for me to be able to resolve them for free. Yeah. She's just going to be expensive for me to keep piling I into. I should make control a, yeah. a priority. All right, I'm going to run down some comments here, Zach. Um, we do have both of these deck lists available on the website. I think you posted some links there. They won't come through on Facebook. I think their API doesn't connect with the restream chat. If you're on Facebook, I'm just going to hit up. You would uh, just do it manually? Well, I'm going to do Team... C oh, I can't type into Facebook, though. <laughs> I was going to say, just go to teamcovenant.com slash read. Um, scroll down a little bit, and the, one of the two, two of the top three blogs will be uh, those two blogs. So you can see the deck. Todd Wright, those are actual dice. They are not. As we said, these are proxies. And we're uh, duking a lot of people. From a, uh, from a process that we're starting to use here to actually get readable dice for the live stream. So hopefully, I guess with that comment, that's a good sign that they are working, and you guys can see them. Um, Let's see. Boogie Man, looking forward to some Papa Palpatine. Great, great to hear that. Jared Pine, not dice. Fake dice. Um, Jim Sharp says he's making some homemade pizza and watching some Destiny. That sounds like a nice night. I'd like to try Jim's homemade pizza. I'd like some pizza. I'm already doing the Destiny thing. Um, Jay Danger 31 on Twitch. Curious to see how Nest plays. Uh, Kiroga, looking for a giveaway or something. Not quite yet, but we are still doing the uh, golden ticket giveaway is what we're talking about. I don't think I have a key for that, but uh, Steven, you're using the, the black and gold Saga, saga token special. We, d we did a set of those. I have those over here for the Covenant Master Series. People asked a ton of questions about those, and they're very difficult to make. So we decided to give a handful of those sets out in Convergence Booster Box subscriptions and Saga set pre-orders. Um, so we still will be picking a handful of those whenever that set finally comes out, and it's kind of golden ticket style. So you open up your Convergence Saga set or your Booster Box subscription, and uh, you might get a set of those. There's a, there's a shot that they're you gonna have be pretty a set, rare. set of tokens there, which is really cool. I, I would be excited about that. That's how I'll... And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link to those as well for anyone that's curious. Cool. Um, David Rodriguez, also known as D-Rod, I believe, uh, right. supporting our homegrown ads and uh, wanting some lightsaber sounds with the swipes. Darren Walker, meantime, saying the air horn is needed when a character is killed. Uh, I don't disagree with that at all. Uh, Steven Johnson wanted to know, did you sub out one uh, fist for one mind extraction just to troll me? I did not. Okay, thank you. That's good. I'm glad to know that. Uh, hello, Jean uh, from Frog Squadron in Quebec City. I hope I pronounced that right. I'll give your last name a shot, Guevremont. Uh, look at that. All I do is just stop pronouncing anything with any kind of solidity, and I feel like I'm speaking French. <laughs> um, 
Justin A, did y'all already get Convergence? No, we definitely did not. Uh, these are fake dice. Jay Raymond, or Raymond, hello from Japan. That's Jimmy awesome. Jimmy Lelancet. Did, did you see? Hi uh, from Quebec as well. A lot of uh, Eaton Quebec Eaton CNS crew. says, UK viewers stuck in Chicago after plane cancellation. Nice to be in a good time zone for this. Oh, Welcome. cool. Hanging out yeah, in well, Chicago that's, here that's probably. Fortunate. Watching us. Uh, agree with Mario. Vader's fist in a hero deck is lame from a theme point of view. Uh, which I definitely agree, agree with. And then Cody Danner, hey guys, shout out from Pennsylvania. You both have gotten me into a lot of games, especially Keyforge. Looking forward to supporting your store in the near future. That's amazing. Does that awesome. mean uh, subscription or are you moving to Tulsa? That's the biggest <laughs> question, I guess, or maybe both. And then are these decks step four to seven only? Hello, Kloss as well. Hey guys. Uh, four to seven? Absolutely, yeah. All the decks have, have been built using rotation. So if you're unfamiliar, when Convergence comes out, the first, yeah, I'll go ahead and start drawing. The first three sets are going to rotate out of standard play, which means they're only legal for the infinite format. Um, and then that'll happen over and over again as time goes on. So, yeah, this is sets four through seven, which is legacies through Convergence. And then do I draw a six at the start, or do I draw an extra card when the game begins? When the game begins. Okay, yeah. cool. And then uh, my fire videos on YouTube. Hello from Utah. What is up? Daniel P. Flynn on Facebook and Gavin McAfee. Hello from Vegas. Hello to you both. Uh, a lot of great, uh, a lot of great check-ins here. And then McCoy Butler. Hello from Toronto, Canada. Strong today. Very yeah. Hey, strong. Every, everyone's checking in here where they're at. Just go for it. I, I'd be curious to know where everyone's watching from while we're getting set up here. That's always one of the fascinating things is seeing how many places people are hanging out, hanging out together, watching some people play cards. Huh. All right, a mulligan too. Okay, let me get an opinion on this. All right. As somebody, obviously, who's, who's played some Destiny, I mean, you, a four-cost four-storm, do you feel like that's a later game card? Do you mulligan that, or do you hold it? I mean, because I'm looking at the board, and it's going to be tough for me to play The question is, do you have a two-cost as well? Well, the problem is the only other two-cost I have is Palp's Lightsaber, which is also only good later. Sure. Um, so the thing about Palp's power action is you can overwrite into a force ability and then use yeah. power action to roll it in. Um, so it's not as if you get to it, it's like you can spend the two and then if you are on this battlefield and you roll with money, you can get the money, get the money. I guess that's upgrade. true. But it's also the kind of thing where like, if I don't have uh, a, a decent two cost, I would even keep his lightsaber. Um, unless you're pitching it. But I don't want to play it early uh, on. May, I mean, it's still fair. fine actually. I just want to maximize the value. Isn't that the yeah. rule? But you know, like, game? so if you end up on your battlefield and you get one force ability, mm -hmm. you could play the force ability, use this, play a Palps lightsaber, get one resource back from it. Okay. And you're, I mean, that, that for That's one fair. is, and there's a there's a good number of one costs in there, like force uh, jump and malice and stuff. Totally fair. All right, running it down. Uh, have you mulliganed? Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah. Can you run down the chat where everyone's from? Oh, my goodness. It's from everywhere. We have... Oklahoma, of course, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, New Zealand, seminary student could possibly move to Tulsa. That'd be nice. awesome. Uh, Wisconsin, Colorado, Norman, the United Oklahoma, Kingdom, yes. Twin Cities, Japan. Misawa uh, Air Base, Japan. How do we awesome. make those stickers hook up the community? Uh, that's a Justin Allen question. I think it's just circle stickers, right? Hey, man, we invest all this R&D money into stuff. You, you Actually, Justin's a subscriber, so we can, we'll we send you the special recipe. If you're <laughs> just send him the no, stickers. No, it, it is stickers. I mean, it's circular stickers and uh, a lot of uh, fiddling in Photoshop, basically, to get them going. Figuring it out. We also got Boston. We got Waco. We got more United Kingdom, Maryland, Brazil, Spain. I like these international awesome. places. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, right. let's get to it then. All right, so now um, we're going to roll for the battlefield. Let me see. Yeah. Three. Also three. You have a pretty good shot at this. I have a good shot of winning? Yeah, you just got a lot of specials. Six. Maybe not a good shot. <laughs> what? I never win. Three. <laughs> All right, so we'll go with my battlefield. That means you get two shields anywhere you want. And then Alps. once you place the shields, you got to choose one of my characters to do two unblockable damage to and you get a draw card. All right, let's do two to Yoda, and then I'll draw. All right, ready to rumble? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, let's see. Tech hey, Ryan Skinner from Boise. Yeah, we will be at Gamma next month for sure. Got to get my money. Don't forget your money. Right on. Three. 
Well, let's live the dream. Activate Yoda. <laughs> let's see how it goes. All right, got a special. Can he remove it? <laughs> is that, should I do that? Well, my loose plan with the entire deck is money, change die, money, gain a shield. Money, Vader's fist. Huh. And you've got two specials. So if you roll it like me, then you'll never hit that special again all game. Um, it's not great. I'm going to doubt it. This one? Yeah. All right. I'll try it. I mean... That's I worth guess. a free shot. All right. One out you of six. <laughs> so on the doubt, one or two I'll resolve three. One out of three. for a money and a change. And then as my next action, let's gain a money with feed, spot infest to take another action. Cool. Gain a money with Yoda. Awesome. And play a shield on mm -hmm. Yoda. All right, your action. Cool. Good turn. Okay. Um, let's see. I don't have... This or this. I need the cash. I've got all big numbers in my hand. Um, here. Yep. Going, going fishing with Anakin. Could be some cash there, or just some straight dads. That's some straight heat. Um, hmm. That's not optimal. Well, let's I think I'm just going to take that if go I can, right? Infus Nest. Got a two for one and a three for one. And you can pay for it all day, huh? Well, I can use her power action. They're both on melee. Oh, right on. Daniel D. Bunn says Broken Air, Oklahoma. All That's right. my father. What right. up? Dad mode. <laughs> and um, Australia. So I was waiting for an Australia so we could get four or five continents in here. Man, this is not good. I think I probably just need to take four damage. I don't know how much better that's going to get. That's really good for Anakin. I really don't. And like that puts Yoda on a serious clock. Um, okay. Okay. And I can also uh, roll these out if I need to. If needs be. <clears throat> you, could, you could also roll Palpatine because you get the two focus. You figure you figure you would have controlled those if you could, right? Yes. Well, and I only have five money, so the <laughs> assumption is I will really want to get Vader's fist out. That's a lot of damage. Only have five money. Huh? Mm. Yeah. Right. That's it. Just five. Oh man. Um, I'm going to probably regret doing this, but I'm going to power action. We'll do five damage to Anakin. Yeah. I. I. Don't disagree with that, ultimately. The problem with it is that, like, if you do get four Storm going on Palpatine... Yeah. It, it basically says, I need to be building Palpatine right now. But, you know, also, I'll come into the next... I'll come into the next round with four cash. And I should be this. able to take Theed this yeah. turn. All right, let's do six to Yoda. All right, one shield... Two damage, two damage, and a damage. So I'm down to three on Yoda. That's yeah. pretty rough. Now here's where the magic happens. Here it is. Uh, let's go Vader's Fist. Vader's Fist. The deck, I, so I mulliganed, and that was the last card I drew in the mulligan, which was fortunate. So when I play it, I get to roll it in, because why not? Okay. Two shields. Okay. Norway and Brazil clocking in as well here. Oh, wow, that's awesome. Jason Park says, started watching you guys for Netrunner Guidance, and now I'm making Destiny my next investment. Thank you. You've reopened my gaming eyes. Keep it up. Awesome. That's really awesome. So good. Okay. Um, so you're going to get two shields. You got four cards. And maybe I have control cards in my hand. Maybe I don't. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I just can't not get value out of that. I'm just going to take the battlefield right now. <laughs> Palps lightsaber? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's do this. That's probably where, like, if you're really next level, you know when to just play a card and not get the best value out of it. But let's reroll. I just want it. 
Vader's Fist re-rolled into two shields again. So we're just going to take two shields on Yoda. And then I'm going to activate it. It's a three for one. I'm going to play Well Connected. You get to draw a card and I get a money. Oh, thanks. I'll do three more damage to Anakin. Then I may be out of power action tokens. So we'll just put a shield on it. Power action to roll it in. Have you rolled that like seven times? So you get to roll it when you play it. You get to activate it, and then it has a power action to roll it in. Okay. So the first time you play it, you get it three times. From now on, it's just two. So I got a three indirect. My best out here is a three direct. But two of these sides cost a money to resolve. Yeah. So I'm feeling okay about this I one. I feel like you should. I'm yeah. going to put three wherever you want it. All right. And my, my initial inclination, you've got a one, two, three side over there. So there's really not some great math. I kind of want to take Anakin to nine and take one shield off Palpatine. Because, like, at least with you roll a two or three, you've got to consider wasting. Yeah, like on this thing? Yeah. 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 On, or even here. Yeah. Let's do that. I think that's fair. And then one off. Because I think you're also very off. much like. Did I do that right? Hit two shields, right? Yeah. So you did two and you should take one. Okay. There. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. <clears throat> uh, someone asking how much damage was dealt the first round. So Steven did. Seven, but two of it was from Bitter Rivalry. Mm -hmm. uh, I also had a shield, so technically six, and I did nine. Mm -hmm. uh, plus one. Ten. Ten? Yes, sir. Yeah. But I'm coming in with four resources next That's turn. That's right. And you now have the battlefield, which means you're going to get a fifth resource and two extra resources. So this is your turn to put, put, put it down. All right, let's see. All right, and then I get to discard cards, right? If I don't, yeah, want you them. can dump everything. Um, okay, now I got to figure out what to discard. Uh, I'm trying to think about what your ideal is here. Cla so clash is not going to be great. Here. Oh, it is. Emphasis against is emphasis is pretty yeah. all right. Um, you know what? I'm. I know this is crazy. I'm going to ditch um, heirloom. That's not that crazy. Because okay. if you're going to upgrade Palpatine, redeploy doesn't matter. And yeah. Force Storm is just flat out better. So. And I, I guess I'll hold on to these. Yeah, I guess I'll hold on to these. <laughs> Steven Johnson, this just in. Vader's Fist, good with heroes, too. Uh, I'm going to ditch that as well. Uh, Justin, Palp had two shields, and I did three in direct, so he did two to Anakin and one to Palp, so he took away two, but he should have only taken away one. I think uh, Michael might be right. Was it eight before the indirect? I'm going to go ahead and agree with that. Okay. All right. Okay, are you ready? We got it. So uh, the, the first thing I should do is uh, feed pretty much always. I mean, is there any reason not to? The only reason would be like back in standard. There's no reason now. There were ways of me manipulating your, like if I had uh, abandon all hope, it's like either get rid of all your resources or discard your hand. So then you might want to save it. But Anakin's about to die. Yeah. So to me, it's like feed and then roll Anakin in. Yeah, or, or the opposite. It's the, it doesn't really matter too much, does it? Yeah, well the other thing is see, feed if you spot Anakin gives you another action. Oh, uh, right on. That's so if I have some reason. way of killing Anakin, yeah. then like, because yeah. there is the whole, um, there's one card that lets me move damage you know. from one character to your character, so just being safe to get it. And that's pretty okay. Um, hmm. Let's think about this. So I'm basically just short on killing Yoda, potentially, right? Four minus two, I'd be two total, so I'd take you to nine. Yeah. That's a bummer. <clears throat> Unless you have a trick. <laughs> um, all right, let's. What's the number one way I'm going to kill Anakin and not take a bunch of damage here? That is exactly it. Let's activate Infus. Got a one and okay. a two resources. Two for one. Okay. Hmm. So, like, here's where Clash could be money. Yeah, that's what I'm considering. 
<laughs> Hyperloop saying clash. Yeah. Okay. We'll clash it. Now. This is the real question. That is the real question. I assume this is going blank. Yeah. And that's fine. So, for those watching that may not know why you're struggling here, you could technically turn this to two for not a money mm -hmm. and not have to spend a money. And assuming you have another villain card to discard, this is also not going to cost you anything. Um, Especially because four storm may cost four. It very much costs four. Yeah. And What's the zero cost lightsaber move do? The give a shield, resolve as a shield, but don't remove it if you have mastery on. Mm. I'm going to do that. OK. Let's uh, let's activate Yoda. Get some value. There it is. Oh double my special. gosh! Just stop. <laughs> I could never. You remember? I could never do that. That was my favorite play. part of playing against your Yoda. I could never do it. Although you, you used to roll that uh, two focus with impulsive. I did that a lot. All the time. Yeah, that was my jam. Uh, let's do two two yodes. All right. He's about to get some more shields. I feel like he is. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's go double uh, specials. We're going to go, um, let's see. You can't kill him anyway. I could try. You will try. Uh, I'll, I'll put two shields on Yoda, and then I'll change two dice. So we'll go to three and three on Infus. That's a lot of numbers. It's big. Yeah. You could resolve that straight up. You could use your power action, right? Yep. Okay, um, then, hmm, another question. You know, would you kill Anakin here? No. <laughs> you, have, you have two damage showing, it's not lethal. Right. So, like, at this you point. You really should, though. I don't want to necessarily waste. <laughs> like, I really want you to. I, I just don't feel like I can take six here and win at all. There's no world in which I win that game. So what's the out? Well, I can doubt one of those dice. Force you to pay for it if you roll this, this pay side. I think that's fair. Or maybe nothing. Or maybe you roll a blank. So let's try to doubt one of them. All right. I forgot to tell you I put three three of stickers <laughs> on here. Yeah, I hope not. All right, I got a shield. That's not bad. Uh, Yoda's going to get a shield. Yeah. And then it's my turn. So now I might kill Anakin. Yeah. Uh, so let's go ahead and do power action and do three damage. All right. See, that was good. You wasted two damage. I mean, you just prevented five damage. That's not bad. That was a, a solid play. All right. Let's do a... Let's do a four storm then. <sighs> I'm pretty good, but, you know, it's not like... It could be really bad for Game me. Game ending. Let's go Vader's Fist. Three indirect. Okay, which is just three damage at this point. Um, let's roll the palps in. Money. Perfect. Exactly what we need. Two shields on Forest Storm <laughs> and a blank on Palpatine. Uh, let's put three damage wherever you want it. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. He is at 11 health, mind you. Yeah, and I need him to have more, but they're all so expensive. Your upgrades? You hit yeah. all the expensive ones? Yeah, Force Wave, not really what I'm looking for today. Mm -mm. Um, I'm not going to waste that Force Storm on two shields. There's no I think reality you, in which that You're, you, you're down, so you got to start throwing the ball. I got it, yeah, yeah. I got to really. S still need some still throws not here. awesome. That's power action with Fist. Got a three ranged. Okay. Okay. Where's that Cerisi Mastery? Are those a... That would be really good right now. Hot commodities. Uh, let's do two shields. Okay. And then I'll hit you for three. All right. I'm taking one. And then we'll knock two off of Yoda. Okay. Then I will... Claim. All right. You still have your power action. Yeah, let's do it. 
Ding. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. I claimed, so it's all you. Well. There's no blanks. Yeah, so we'll take it. All right. I think it's worth it. Ding. I don't know, though. I don't know what your card is. Well, so yeah, it's just, say. I just think I need to play this more than I need the dice. All right. Oh, here's all the control cards. Wow. Yeah, you, you may, you may need amazing. A, a little shuffle skis. We might have to run this That's one amazing. Back. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get rid of some cards really quick. Okay. I'll like you and you. Let's get rid of two. Okay. Uh, let's... Activate Yoda before he goes the way. Of, look at that. Specials for days. Phew. Okay. Oh, this is great. Check this out. Tom McCall says, I stopped playing Destiny after spending a small fortune completing full sets of both villain and hero for Awakening, Spear Rebellion, and Empire War. That included enough character cards for every possible build, plus extras for training, etc. The completionist in me meant that I couldn't afford to continue. But because of you guys, when Convergence is released, my daughter and I are hoping to pick up Arrivals and play some drafts at our local store. I also picked up X-Wing with the intention of only buying one of each Imperial ship. You've changed my outlook on gaming. Yeah, I've always been a casual for fun player, recently. but I felt I needed everything. Now I don't. And I'd like to thank you for visiting my living room every week. You're always welcome here. That's so great, Tom. Tom, that's amazing. That's an incredible compliment, and I, I'm, it's awesome to hear. Great to hear it. Yeah. Fantastic. All right, so now... I have a tough, tough decision to make. You've got so much money and so much damage. I need to move quickly. Um, so let's start with the Palm Sight Saber. Pay two, get one back. Yeah. All right, let's go Yoda Special for a money and a die turn. Yoda Special for a money and a shield. Cool. You yep. know, the no, Vader's Fist is unique. Good. <laughs> that would be insanity. Over to me. Mm -hmm. Play a Force Jump. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's in here. It's in the actual dice. Thank you. Pool. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's go with a Treasured Lightsaber on Infus Nest. So it lets me draw a card when I play it. Nice. Where is it? There it is. All right, here we go. Dad's this home. Is, this is a lot better. Yeah, I needed that first turn if if I could. Yeah. Ugh. So you got special on Force Jump, which lets you blank one of my dice and roll it back in. A two damage on the lightsaber, a two discard on Force Storm, and a blank on Palpatine. Two damage on lightsaber, not bad at all. Let's, before I get discarded, I'm going to play a Dagger of Mortis on Infus Nest. I just don't feel like I'm taking that discard, though. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't feel like that's happening at all. Okay, then let's re-roll. I mean, there's a part of me that just takes that two damage right now. The only reason you wouldn't is if you somehow, like, don't need the two damage there. Because, like, you could get a special on Force Storm, hit me for one, roll it back in. Force Storm, etc. Mm -hmm. There's a world where I just force there. storm Yoda off the board, and then I yeah. don't need the two damage. Yeah, but also you, you know, you wanted to play that dagger of Mortis. You could have a control card in your hand that you opted to not play instead. Yeah, which is a bit of a problem. Um, let's. I just want to knock two off. All right, shields be gone. I could also technically there's the removal, remove a die. Showing less than the value of shields on your characters. That could be in my hand, too. So yeah. there's there's reasons. All right, let's go to the Emphasis Nest and kind of force you to let's see what happens. Force jump me. All right, got a three. Hi Hyperloops, I couldn't play the the jump first because it costs one, and then I can't play the lightsaber. Mm. So that's why. It's not minus one resources. It's you gain resources after you play it. So you have to have the money to spend it. Yeah, because yeah. I was like, well, I could play force jump and then roll in, and then try to hit a resource, it's like, nah, n none of that works. Yeah, I think what well. you did is solid. Yeah. Okay, so how bad is it over there? That's ah, pretty bad. Uh, you have jump. You can get rid of the X for one and roll it back in. That seems like immediately what I would want to do. <laughs> it's, jump's <laughs> good. Jump's real good. 
Uh, yeah. Let's see that. All right. Blank city. All right. Let's shield. Activate Raider's Fist. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, do a little reroll mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Probably all of them. I think it's the boat, yeah. Yeah. Just looking for that special. Or just a four. Or something. Cool. There's a four. Four indirect is exactly what I don't want right now. Well, the thing <laughs> is, you still have your power action. Mm -hmm. So even if you resolve for four, then you can roll it back in. That four damage is so worthless going to Infus yeah. right now. Let's do three power. One, two. Take one. Do you know the damage there? Yeah, I got these. All right, cool. Over here, Anakin is just writhing in death. Um, so I probably have to resolve that, roll it back out, and then try to hit better yeah. stuff. Or right. you can reroll all of them. Well, let's do that. All right, four so indirect. Take four on Infus. She's down to eight health. Hey, Greg, check out the the draft guide on the website. It's part of the Learning Destiny series. Yeah. There's actually a guide. Um, I'm going to link to that. He won't see it in Facebook, I'll hop over. Ah, I'll, I'll yeah. Do, I'll do the work. I'm going to link to the drafting guide really quick since you're asking some questions about it. I love draft. Draft is the way. It, that To me, that's the way to play Destiny. Limited, I think, is is the way that I like to play anything. It just, you don't have to have anything, except for, the in Destiny's case, the Rival Starter, or soon it's the, I forget the name of the new one. It's just a much smaller, uh, I like those more controlled, like, smaller experiences like that. See, John. And it's just something about it. It's like the, the emphasis is on crazy wild combinations. So, all right, linked. <laughs> I love that it converted the emoji to a frowny face on the colon <laughs> <laughs> sideways face. Let me face. make sure the link works. <laughs> and okay, yeah, like it worked on it, Facebook. Yeah. That's really funny. <laughs> okay, uh, so what happened? You resolved for four. I resolved for four. And I took four. Yeah. Um, so let's, that seems good. Let's re-roll these two. Mm. Well, we'll hit mode of that guy into a melee. Mm. That's pretty good. It's gone. That's going to be a pain. I'm going to power action fist. No, that's going to be a pain. Yeah, it's really obnoxious. This card's bonkers. So can I just take three? I probably have to. Uh, let's re-roll this thing in here. Mm -hmm. All right. Pew, pew on Yoda if you don't do something. <laughs> so got, you got the goods. Um, let's just do three to Palpatine. One, two. Bring that guy down. <laughs> Keep track. Three. All right. Um, I gotta, I'm gotta. i killing Yoda when I have it. Immediately. I swear, the number of times I've tried to get cute about that kind of stuff, and it just... And then just lose. Yeah, it just goes poorly. Yeah, it's not not ideal. Okay, uh, let's re-roll these. <clears throat> so now the other thing about her power action is that it's not really usable with modified sides. So... We're going to hit a motive that anyway. Oh, my goodness, Melee. devil motive. Yeah. Didn't didn't hit. Okay, um, that's good. I'm going to power action for a money. Then I'm going to re-roll. And just brick them. Just brick them right up. <laughs> if you would, please. I didn't okay. brick. That's you want to do this again? Yeah, yeah let's, do this let's again. try that again. I'll try that again. I need to see Chorizo Master. I didn't see it at all. Chorizo <laughs> Mastery. You know, that's just what you call it from yeah. now on. That's so, just it. To be fair, a couple of things. One, I definitely, when I offered you which deck you wanted to play earlier, thought you would be playing this deck. Oh, that's all right. Uh, but the other part of this is that, like, my instinct is that any Yoda deck with Vader's Fist in it is immediately, or, or Force Storm, is immediately just... Yoda is one of the craziest cards in the game, in my opinion. Yes. Especially after rotation, and Vader's Fist is the another crazy card. Well, wouldn't you say constructed is just finding all the crazy cards and shoving as many in the deck as you can? Yes. <laughs> That's I, always been my strategy. And I mean, craziest together, right? Like, and I like it's a, to me, it's 
really, given the structure of that deck, unfortunate that you didn't have anything to play on turn one. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's not ideal. I maybe, I mean, maybe it was better to just go ahead and play Cobb's Lightsaber. But I don't know. Would it have gotten me anywhere? I mean, it would have got me one resource down. I would have had Force Storm on turn two the same. But you would have been able to use it on turn one. I would have been able to use it on turn one. Whatever yeah. that net effect was. You're obviously behind the curve on the Yoda health. That's the story of it, right? Yeah. It's like, I killed Anakin, you didn't kill Yoda. And I've also, I've got in my head that Cerezu Mastery is just the most important piece, but I should probably not sleep on these guys either. I mean, Circle of Shelter, maybe it wouldn't have saved me that one. Deflecting Slash, yeah, it could work. You could have removed Vader's Fist with that. Boy, through an activation? That's the, the hard part, is that But activation. if you'd had it out, you also get the two shields, which is where, is where the magic's at. That's just where it's so good. It's yeah. like, ah, I can't even play it. Yeah. Uh, My Fire Video says, tell us why it's nice to use those little character trays versus tokens and dice everywhere. Well, you just uh, did it for me. It's not really a verbal... You either dig it or you don't, really. I mean, it's... Yeah, I mean, once, <laughs> once you start playing, though, where your dice don't have to go on your characters, your tokens don't have to go on your characters, and there's none of this kind of thing, where, like, you have tokens, and then you roll, and then it's like, oh, this it's bounce... Like this. <laughs> It's like those old uh, made-for-TV commercials. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> just can't figure this out. But like the number of times, like you will roll your dice come over on my side, and this token ends up right here. You saying I'm a sloppy roller? No, just just how it goes. There's limited space in this game, um, so it, it is way cleaner. Um, if that's something you're into, then you should check them out. If you're not, then you're not. You, just stop watching. We don't like people who don't like clean boards around here. <laughs> just, just get out of here. <laughs> just kidding. And while we're uh, setting up here, um, do want to mention, so we're using cards from Convergence. Steven's using the new Palpatine. I'm using Infus Nest. We do have a limited number of Saga sets available if you're wanting to guarantee you get all that stuff for the set. We don't know when the set's coming out. People keep asking if you don't know. Uh, but the window's closing for Saga sets and booster box subscriptions for Convergence. So if you're wanting that, it'd hop in. I felt like you were going to say something, and then you didn't. No. I was not. We've only got a few of those. I guess a few is not exactly accurate. We're, we've got a certainly lower than... Uh, we have a limited supply of Saga sets left. I'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you worked through yeah. that. They, uh, they're moving. Almost gone. We don't know anything about the uh, release date. A lot of people were asking about that on the chat, right? Um, we don't have an official release date yet, do we? No. How great. No. We usually don't get a release date until a good two weeks before the set comes out. So right. usually if there's not information, but that's most of the time. Last July when, I think it was, you're good, Way of the Force <laughs> came out, we had a good seven-day heads up that it was coming. Mario, I hope cool. Santa delivers. Okay, <laughs> you ready to roll for the battlefield? Yeah. Based on my hand, I can tell you this is going to go better for Oh, you. this is good. Oh, you're mulliganing. That's oh, yeah, cool. sorry. You take your time. I, hey. I was ready to roll, though. I just, not appropriate. <laughs> I am ready, but I'm not ready. You know what I mean? Uh, if you're watching and you have any questions, let us know. Um, How does this thing work? Happy to answer them. Oh, wow. Excellent. How does this work? Uh, okay. These are the ones that I want. And then I do shuffle again, right? Mm-hmm. God, I'm used to Arkham now. Woo. Set him aside, draw your yeah, cards. Yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, especially nice. with just a, in at least Destiny a 30 card deck, that would be a game changer. How consistent these decks would get. Okay, one, two. You kept three cards, so I feel like this is already better. It's certainly better. <laughs> these are cards I haven't really seen before. Great. Cool. Okay, well this could get spicy. <laughs> spicy, especially if I get that battlefield. That's a huge difference, by the way. I rolled a four, so you're gonna have to roll some heat here. I've got nothing but heat this you game. Two. You have so many twos. Five. I told you you could win that battlefield. Give it to me. All right, so I get two yes, shields. Yes, I'll do yes. one on each, and then you get to do two damage and draw a card. I'm gonna stick with the Yoda plan. And see how that goes. This I think time. that is correct. Okay. Although Emphis hit for a ton of damage last game. Yeah, it was crazy. She's crazy cats. Yeah, that's big numbers. <clears throat> it's like the the dude that I paired with Yoda. What was it? who was that? Zeb. Yeah, Zeb. Yeah. Also have some big Just numbers. Big sides, right? It's crazy. <clears throat> you know, Torment's an interesting card, mm -hmm. especially in this deck. So I, I wish it were an ability upgrade. It would be way better if it was. But the fact that you can play it on Palpatine, 
And then it's like, if I do damage to Palpatine, you're going to get the money, and then you can overwrite yeah. on top of it. it. You can do some really fancy stuff with that card. I feel like I should wait until you make a choice. Sure. You know? Because you already were targeting Anakin first anyway. So well, at this point... Part of that was you put two shells on Palpatine, and I had six damage showing. Right. So I knew I could get to almost killing Anakin. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do... This. Yeah, I agree, Michael. He, someone was saying if I drew fish, I should discard it. And then Michael was saying if, if you, you had drawn fish? any abilities on turn one, that it would have been an honest game, which is, I think, fair. Okay, here's my <clears throat> plan. Hit me with it. Hit me with it. Yeah, go fishing for some resources. Bump, bump, yeah. bump. Thanks, I, Annie. I actually seen this in play now. Um, look at, so after rotation gets weird, by the way, on the card pool. Like the number of like blue, mono blue, you don't have any cards that just say gain of money. Mm. Like in, you had Enrage in the first Yeah, set. I remember that one. Um, the only one is Respite, which is exhaust a character to draw a card and gain a money, but you don't really want to exhaust no, it as characters. No, I don't want that. So I would almost put, there's the, I forget, the, I think it's As You Command. It's a zero cost blue card, spot two blue characters, do a damage to one of your characters to turn a die to a side of your choice. But it's like if you can guarantee you can get a money on turn one with Anakin, even I would just love it. one money, it would be a big deal. I would love it. I can always just keep rolling them. All right. Uh, let's go with a treasured lightsaber on Yoda. So cool. I get to draw a card, and the die goes in play. You'll notice I didn't save my money. I also don't have feed, so it's going to be a lot harder for me to get to five. You don't have feed, that's right. Okay. Let's uh, throw some training down on... There it is. This could get spicy. This could get real spicy. Is it's this, this it? one, I think. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Yoda. And I got a special on the lightsaber, a disrupt on Yoda, and a one shield on Yoda. What's the special do? Uh, two damage or three unblockable damage if I have five or more cards. And you do. Which I do. Okay. So that's a good one. <laughs> Justin A says, now that Covenant Masters are over, when are you going to host the Amateur Covenants? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually probably pretty soon. That's kind of uh, I think that's the weekly we're up to these days. <laughs> okay, now we have to make some decisions. I really want Anakin to roll some money. I think it's worth re-rolling once. More than anything, right? Because you have really one money want here. That money. Just kind of waiting. I really want that extra money. Yeah. It's like, uh, so one in six, one in six, you're at about 30% of the time you would hit. So, like, you missed once. All right, I'm going to try it again with a mislead. Paul, welcome. Yeah, Yoda's pretty, this promo is pretty legit. It's good. Missed. Awesome. No, that's exactly what you want. Uh, let's do three damage unblockable to the Palpster. Okay. I almost want to attack Anakin just to see what Palp can do, but I'm not going to do nah, that. Nah, you can't do that. <clears throat> <laughs> Someone said Covenant Mediocres <laughs> instead of Covenant Masters. That's funny. Okay. Okay. So this is looking less exciting by the moment. Now, the other thing I like is if you happen to hit that two focus on Palpatine... You can play whatever you want to play. Going to money. Use the power action to roll it back in. But. All right, Palpin. Shields. Shields. Shields for days. All right, let's do. I'm going to discard Force Wave. Force Wave is one of those cards. I'm going to reroll that is so important when you're playing against those three wide decks. Got a special on Yoda. I feel a doubt or a hidden motive coming on. Um, I mean, at this point, it's not even... Spunksta, what's the, what's the starter that you found? Uh, you, most starters are playable. You just need two copies, and you'll at least have an okay deck, no matter which one it is. But the two-player starter is really good. This one's got Ray on the cover. 
think you gotta re-roll the boat, right? Yeah. I just gotta choose the right card to pitch. Yeah, I am sad to do it. This may be totally wrong, but let's do a Cerezi training. I don't think it's totally wrong. Not totally. Okay, Anakin all Hey, that's getting pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Hard to pass up on four damage. <clears throat> all right, let's go with Yoda. We'll go special for a money and a die turn. Special for a money. I hate Yoda. It's so sad. I I dislike how Yoda is. I want a Yoda. I want what I well, want. Well, that is Yoda though, isn't it? Just like <laughs> training and making things great. I feel like not actually attacking much. I, I'm okay with Yoda if he doesn't have the gain of money side. Yeah. Like shields and die fixing makes sense. Right. But like also being economy is just so good. Well, you know, or you put gas in the tank. Even better is like make him like an eight ten. Except for each of his dice only does one of the things instead of two. But the fact that you can get a money and turn a die is just so ridiculous. It's a little rough. But, anyways. Okay. Thinky, thinky. You could do some heat here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And it's not like the boom is. You can't roll another one of these out. Is that correct? No, not it. Roll it has a die on, on yeah. this character? Yeah. Okay. That's what that means. I get it. <laughs> Man, I hate to take a money here, but I really want to. I mean, it's to me, it's tempting to Falcons focus an Anakin builder. die to a money. Yeah. Get two money. You have a third money here, depending on the, whatever you have in your hand. I don't know what don't it really is. You need that much. Because, you know, Palpatine, the best that he gets to... Yeah, this is... Other alternative, you could focus into the two, hit me for six, mm -hmm. and then roll back in. Yeah. But I, I don't know what you're working with over there. You'll know soon enough. I have a feeling we're at some point... Gonna, I, I bet the next Yoda we get is the prequel Yoda, which is not my favorite either, but it'll be fine. He'll have a lightsaber. He'll be bouncing around. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to focus into a cache. And I'll pass it over. Yeah. Seems good. Uh, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and give Infus a treasured lightsaber. What? Which means she's going to get a draw card, too. Lightsabers for days. Okay. Now is the real question, isn't it? Okay. So this goes to that. And that becomes a thing. I'm curious what you're going to do here. Yeah, well, there's a lot of thinking, probably not a lot of necessary thinking. Um, that, okay, that's actually all that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and gain a cash. Just a cash. Just like that. All right. Well, let's activate Infus. A shield. Two money for one and a blank. Okay. Let's go ahead and feed up. Okay. So you get a free money and an action. And then let's play Palp's lightsaber and gain one back. Interesting. This could get wild. Don't forget your die. Yeah. Um, let's re-roll with Infus. I'll keep the two for one. All right. Play the old Torment. Yep, I picked, so now you can start loading up. Now, I don't know if you have a tricky plan or not, but technically, if you had gotten that money first, you could have played Torment. Is that... Only abilities, or is it upgrades? Just abilities. Okay, cool. Yeah, it doesn't matter. That I would love it if it triggered off if of this. The other that would be killer, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, It'd be great. Let's use Infus Power Action to resolve this two money for one without having to pay for it. Not the three? 
Oh, wait. I guess. Do they have to be the same symbol mm -hmm. to use it? Yeah. Bummer. Okay. Uh, Paul, we don't know when Convergence is coming out. Um, expectation was actually before now for a while, uh, but they said Q1. So assuming March is kind of the, the deadline there, but you just never really know. Power action here. Okay. Um, let's gain a money with treasure. Treasure. Don't like that three, eh? This three? Mm hmm. What do you mean? Like I'm not one to resolve it? Yeah, you're not resolving it. Well, you know, I'm kind of just uh, taking my time. By the way, this is going significantly better for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to hidden mode of that thing. Oh, really. come on. Hidden mode of soap. I'm going to reroll that. It's <laughs> sideways on my keyboard. Ah. You get feed. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just claim. Okay. Claim. Tito Yoda, one resource and one shield. <laughs> Nathan says they said Q1, so maybe Christmas. Funny. Take two, Yoda. All right, shield's gone. All right, so recap of that round real quick compared to the last one. So I got four resources worth of stuff in play, and I took. The two damage on Yoda that I got from the start of the game from Bitter Rivalry, and I lost a shield. Mm -hmm. You took... I lost two shields. Yeah, that's right, because I gained them. You took... Well, I'm down a shield from the start of the game. Okay. From my original board state. Yeah, that's fair. You're up a shield, but down three health, and you have five costs for the stuff in play, plus you ended the round with the money, so now you're going to be at three money. I also ended the round with three money, so now I'm going to be at five money, which is crazy. Yoda being crazy. Fist time. Yoda's faced. Mm -hmm. We will see. Oh. Oh. Okay. You ready to rumble? Okay, abilities do not count toward my limit. Okay, so I can play more abilities or yeah. one more upgrade. <clears throat> and don't forget about the old overwrite yeah. rule. Like even uh, Palps is great as an overwrite as well, obviously. Into something. Something worth having. Well, it's like if you had the other palp saber, mm -hmm. you overwrite gain two money. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Yeah. <laughs> that would be sweet. Let's just activate Yoda. Try to get most value out of that treasured. <laughs> Special on Yoda. He's about to do Yoda things. Yoda things. Okay. Don't want that. Don't want this. Kind of want that. Don't really care about that. Hmm. Okay. You can Yoda around, right? Get all your money. <laughs> Get all your all your stuff. Okay. I would like to do. Anakin. Special on the shield. Special on the shield. All right, let's go Yoda. We'll gain a money. Turn to die. Gain a money. Turn to die. We'll do three unblockable to Palpatine. Done. If you want to trigger that torment, you're welcome to do so. Free money. Free see money. What, see what he does with it. Hopefully you have that storm. Free money. No, I, I don't. I do not. <laughs> no, I do not have that. Um, let's go ahead and start with the uh, jump. All right. I'll put so he's like currently this. at plus two health? Twelve health, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go Dark Saber on Infus. Gets plus one to all of its values because she mm -hmm. costs 15 or more. That seems quite good. You're going to keep piling them on here? I wish I had more abilities, I will tell you. 
It's a tricky balance with him. Mm -hmm. I think there's 10 in the deck or 11. I'm just going to play an heirloom straight up. Okay. Depending on what's in your hand, you could also overwrite Torment. Yeah, you know, the way that I do games is I paid one to get one resource back right now, and I need to at least get two. Well, if you overwrite, you technically get the one back. So you got oh, free money. I, I understand. I understand. Better. You're going to have to tag uh, him at least once more. Let's go heirloom. Maybe twice. I'm I you can't kill him this turn, right? You totally can, by the way. <laughs> It depends on what's in your hand. Okay. Um, let's go here. Give me an heirloom die, would you? Oh, yeah. I sure will. Thanks. Maybe I could just ace Infus right here. You definitely could. Who knows? Not, Not with, that. with that roll. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that. Ding, ding, ding. All right. Let's do, do, do. activate Infus with her pile of dice. Some garbage. <clears throat> That's yeah, suboptimal. I joined you though. Uh, three focus, Good. blank, two shields, and a three for one. Not exactly the heat. Hmm. Three focus isn't bad. I could make you do some weird stuff at that point. <laughs> Assuming you can't control it. Okay. Golly. All right, so you can focus into what, how much damage? Technically, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. That would push ten through, putting me at sixteen. And I have twelve health. So you're four over. Mm. <laughs> now, it would be a weird sequence. Because, like, I don't have money right now. So I'd have yeah. to resolve these with their power action, and then I could resolve these. So technically, that max damage as well is assuming I get the modifier here. Yeah. So, like, if you can control that one die, you can shut five of it down. Which is really what that force gem needs to be doing. That is what that force right gem now. needs to be doing. Yeah, I feel like a reroll is just... Because this is also two shields, right? Yeah. If you hit that special. One on the heirloom is not... Not ideal. What's your max damage? Two on palp isn't bad, but focus would be pretty solid, as would damage. Force gem really wants to be a special. Palps wants to be anything. Anything else? Uh, Anakin's okay on special, and the one shield's okay. It's both okay. You don't you don't have money, so his two for one is blank basically. So it could definitely get worse. Yeah. If you have a control card too, like the one money here could be really smart. Okay, well. I think I'll just go for a straight up reroll. Because the other sequence here is like taking two shields and then you focus and then I reroll. You either do some damage or you try to hit more damage. If you do the damage, then I can shield up potentially again and prevent six in a perfect world. Yeah. Is that a fair thing to do? I'm trying to think about... I don't remember how this game ultimately works. <laughs> like, you know, how people usually play it. I would mean, you... You would probably get them all up and then resolve them all at once. So the, the thing is I can't resolve these at once because they're going to cost money. So it's, that's what I'm saying. It's gonna that's why those three shields feel so good. Two actions. Now the other option is keep three shields showing, mm -hmm. re-roll the rest. Mm -hmm. Because if you get this to a special, that's going to be awesome for you. Maybe better. Because like you can turn one Infus blank at a time. It's like That's really annoying because I, I need them both showing at the same time. You can get the two shields showing here. If you have Sarisu Mastery, it's even better. That'd be, that'd be cool. <laughs> it would be cool. Um, let's, let's go ahead and discard this Force Wave, which also is kind of another life, so I kind of don't want to do it, but... Mm, it is kind of a nerve. Yeah, but I'm gonna. It got significantly better. That's way better. Three on the heirloom, special on Sarisu training, special on the force jump, resource on the palp saber, which is fine. That's pretty good. That's can't, much can't better. Can't hate that. Overall. So, 
Oh, man. So, like, this is the, the weird part of this is I'm now, I think, is what I have to do. I'm going to go hidden motive on heirloom. I'm going to call melee. It's gone. It's gone. Sometimes you get so locked into something that you forget the basics. Like, mm -hmm. just getting rid of that die. Trevor says, guys, your tokens are on point. Loving the new boards. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. Neato, these are actually proxy dice. Uh, we, we made these, and they're not, not the real deal, but it does kind of look like that on camera, I'm sure. Next step in this chain. Strange. Uh, you know what? You know what it's going to be? I think it's going to be two there and then roll that baby back out. I think that's correct. Yeah. So two shields? Mm-hmm. With chorizo? With, with chorizo itself. Yeah, give me some shields if you would. Thanks. Ding. All right. And then that's the only special you're doing? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I could go ahead and do Anakin's, I guess. But I might... No, I'm not going to do Anakin's. All right. Well, that's a re-roll. This could get weird. Here. Force jump makes that focus way less appealing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Technically, I got back to the two focus on Darksaber, a resource on treasure, the shield on... Heirloom. I only have one card left, too. Yeah. So you're looking pretty okay at this I'm point. Pretty all right. There was a nervous moment there. Let's get Soul Cerisu back in. All right. right. Now, if you'd had Mastery, this would have been a bomb it would, turn. It would have been great, yes. That's still pretty okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spend a three focus because I've only got one card left. So I'll go one. So crazy. Two. Three. All right, so we're looking at three unblockable, six for free, and three straight up. And they're all different actions I have to take. Okay. So the most annoying thing you could do to me right now probably is yeah. blanking one of these. Let's do that. And then if you're all special again, I'm just going to flip the table. Flip the table. He didn't. Great. Um, let's go three unblockable to Palpatine. So that'll slide under those shields. Ding! Ding! He's at what? Plus two right now? So yep. he's 12. Three left. Three left. And you'll notice, like, I haven't done anything. That's becoming more and more of a problem. Like how there's no damage on the board? Yeah. It's all just been, like, playing around. Sifting around. Here's a question. Would you rather have, based on what I'm seeing, this is absolutely the case, you could have a second Palpatine die? Mm -hmm. and not Lightsaber Mastery. But then you would have to either run only one of every card in your deck or the Bitter Rivalry. Well, so the thing is, like, without Ceriso Mastery, these cards are just not enough. They're not good. Maybe they're okay. I mean, like, I've got a Deflecting Slash in my hand, too, and it's like, I could have waited for, like, six turns to maybe use that card, but that was tough. And then Circle of Shelter is is fine. Um, but you just have to get Cerise and Mastery out for this to be worthwhile. Yeah, and I haven't seen it. I, in both games, I haven't seen it. So it seems like it's one of those conditional... Oh, wait. It's supposed to be two unblockable, by the way. Moments. Only two? Yeah. It's oh, only. you only have two or That's one right. in hand? Yeah. yeah. You got it. I'm fixing Good your board state Thank for you. you here. Thank you. Um, okay, so now I'm, I'm kind of in this position where, I, I mean, three shields is going to get soaked, uh, and then I could reapply... Uh, two of them pretty easily, three of them if you give me time. and then, Or three with the dice right there and then re-roll the rest. Um, so I probably still probably hold those. I probably hold this and this. Well, I just... So if you take the three off, I can only get two or one shield and you take three, I take one. Whereas here, I can reapply three so that no damage comes through. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, which right at this point, I'm at 8 of 12. Damage is super important. Um, but this is more likely... I mean, what kind of damage can I do with this? You None. can. <laughs> Zero damage. Yeah, that's part of the problem, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So we kind of want Palpatine back in. That's damage, damage, damage. Sure. That'll work. Uh, is it my go? Yeah, Can't sure. Remember. Okay, let's re-roll um, these guys. De -de -de -ding. Okay. And I can maybe blink out one of your three damages if that's in the cards. All shields, Just all shields. day long. Okay, uh, let's pow. No, let's re-roll. We got a shield. Okay. Um. God, now it's a battle. Yeah, for I'm kind Thien, of agreeing, really. Justin. He was saying that Annie's dice aren't doing too much, so you may as well run two Palpatine instead. Yeah, because you know, it's like, do I reroll or do I save this for Anakin's special? Mm. It's like I, I, you gotta re -roll. I feel like I have to reroll, right? Which yeah. means I reroll Anakin too. That's right. Uh, so this one, probably all of them. Yeah. I mean, would you reroll all of those? I think so. I still have a good shot at Force Jump, blanking yeah. out three, so that's worthwhile. Okay. Brick City. Some money, some fighty, some shields, blanky, and some shields. Okay. All right, let's do three damage to Papatine. One, two, three. Um, let's just do two, I guess, back on. All right, I'll use your power action to do three more to Papatine. One, two, three. Um, and you've got nothing in that left. Let's just do two uh, shields. Let's go shield on Yoda. Hmm. Damage and money versus money in battlefield, essentially. I probably claim there, right? <laughs> yeah, that's I the crazy think, part of that I card. Think I claim that. All right, next round. So, man. So man indeed. So man. I'm just thinking about that deck. I think I would almost potentially run a lead Palpatine and then put in two respites. That way you can tap Anakin for money and a card. Oof. You, you attached to Anakin? Is that a big deal? Am I attached to Anakin? Yeah. No, not necessarily. It's thematic. Okay, so now I've got a lot of time that I'm going to have to waste. <laughs> because I'm going to have to override all these upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> There's no world in which I, well, there is a world in which I do that. Okay, I see. Now you want to be careful too, because I'm getting in decently close range to killing Palpatine. So like... You're one roll away, yo. That's what I'm saying, is like, they've been on your control cards, but having things like Heirloom on there is pretty solid, because Anakin's going to get those. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I guess that's the question. Is he just going to die? Do you uh, do you play that game now? Probably. You probably play that game? Is that is that fair? Am I playing that game? The Palpatine dead game? Am I playing the dead Palpatine game here? I mean, he's on his way. He's on, he is on his way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, truer words have never been spoken. Um... <laughs> I just want to, I'm going to do this because we're here. Now, if you roll all the damage that you need, that's going to be a real bummer. <laughs> it's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer, yeah. Oh, man, this is hard. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, I've got Theed. Okay. You're good. Uh, I'm interacting with the stream here. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, Talzin is there. probably just better as well. Um, you run it with the odds, you get witch magic. There's all... all there's only so many force abilities is the problem, and a lot of these are odd evens. Like if you look at the number of evens out here, um, but I, I still think Talzin with Witch Magic is probably a lot better, straight up. All, All right. right, so replaced uh, Palps Lightsaber with Force Storm. All right. Um, well, let's go with Infus. Maybe we can get it out. Okay, so that's, is that still three unblockable? You got five? That's three, yep, three unblockable, which wouldn't kill you now because you played mm -hmm. four storm. A four melee and a two melee. Okay. Mm. 
Let's see how we can get out of this. Okay, so I can't take five, that is for sure. What are we dealing with here? Don't you have one of these sweet ones? Mm, I think it's, it doesn't work on Ranged or indirect. Yeah. <laughs> Shrug. Hmm. There's two on Palpatine at the moment. It's people talking about the events. Hmm. I've also got to deal with this heirloom reality. All right, so this is a really important turn. There's some weird stuff you can do. Okay. Okay. No indirect or ranged, but it is worth that. Dog show. <laughs> People are saying they want me, they want to force me to have to play my deck now. Yeah, 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 you should. It's way more your style, I guess. Like, I think there's a way to weasel out of this. <laughs> um, do I get the two shields regardless? Yeah, that's a different sentence, right? I tell one of your blue characters, remove a die, blah, blah, blah. If that character has a card, title series of mastery, give it two shields. Okay, that's worth knowing. First thing I'm gonna do is Theed. All right. Because I know I need that, regardless of what happens next. And then... Someone was saying, feel your anger, because I have two blanks showing. It's rotated. Yeah. Bad. Yeah, it's not great. Bad, bad, bad. Um, let's overwrite mastery okay. and remove that four. That seems less bad. It's certainly less bad. Unblockable damage is my my bane. All right, let's do three unblockable. Key. And you get a resource from that. I do. I got my value. So much value. Value for days. Okay, and then you've got two sitting there. Uh, well played asking if we're going to be at Gamma. Yes, we will. So if you're there, say hi to us. Um, and more Keyforge streams. I think next week's Keyforge. I think we're doing Keyforge next week on the stream. You can see that it. That seems right. On our Facebook page, we, we have events upcoming going. events. Um, you can see what we're doing in the future. Man, it's just like, wait, how long do you wait for it to be good? Or do you just accept defeat? Ah. Um. Let's hit motive that to melee. Okay. <clears throat> Didn't get it. Okay. Let's do what Yoda does. Blanks. Blank and basically blanks on Yoda. Good. Uh, you got to go with Palpatine, right? Well, so let's just lay this out. I really want to activate him with this because it'll give him two shields. Mm -hmm. um, but he's already got two shields on him, so I could at least get one shield for a resource, which at this point is the best thing I can do in my hand. I feel like the... Because you could do the same thing with Anakin. Mm -hmm. You don't get the shields later, I guess, if you don't have Sarisu. Yeah, it's pointless but without that. The, I almost feel like he, if you can get value out of Palp's dice now, it's worth so much. Yeah. Some amount of value. Greater than zero. Ding! All right. I'll believe it. Do I have a, I need a mastery die, I think. Mastery, Palp, Yell Guy, Heirloom Jump. Yell Guy. So much value. <laughs> it's coming. You got the two focus on Palpatine, though. It's coming. Assuming you get to use it. Uh, let's reroll. All the dice. Could be good. Uh, two on Heirloom, a one on Infus, shield on Infus, a special on Yoda, and a discard on Yoda. Three showing, eh? Mm hmm. 
And I can take 12, I can take 13, is that right? So you make one damage. I can take one damage. Hmm. So I have just enough to murder you. I can take a shield from old Cerezu. And you've got Yoda stuff. Can you put it into treasure? Is that, how much is that? Two unblockable damage, yeah. Oh, that seems relevant. <laughs> so he's dead next turn. I guess this technically here. Unless well. Yoda's special is removed. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I think I can kill you too with just the three damage on the heirloom and the emphasis. Yeah, I, well, I could take the shield is the thing. Mm -hmm. and that would get rid of that. Okay, so none value. I think the better thing to do is uh, overwrite here? Here? Well, I at least have two shields. I mean, he's going to die next turn, right? Doesn't much matter if I throw the heirloom where I put it. Doesn't matter, does it? It doesn't matter. Huh. Okay. This is not going so hot. No, yeah, we can skip this up here in just a second. Right, let's, uh, yeah, so what I would do is special on Yoda, gain a money, change a die, special on Yoda, gain a money, change a die, two unblockable to Palpatine. Yep. And then Anakin becomes formidable. Watch out. Uh, Matt, asking about the characters. Yeah, I'll just bring them up on screen real quick so you can see them. Here's Palpatine. He just died. Yeah, there's no world in which this, this works. This ever works out. Yeah. Yep. No. Let's, let's flip the tables here. It ain't happening. So I, I actually agree. Um, we'll see. I'll, I'll maybe, let me play it in practice before I just flat out agree. <laughs> uh, so Mother Talzin is, was the, the second runner runner up in my getting ready for this build. And I think she's just flatly better. I definitely feel like I have like so many shields. Maybe it was just that game. But like everything I was looking at was giving me shields, and my dice were giving me shields. Can you hand me that Palpatine? Yeah. Here's this. Here's that. Here's this. Can I, is that a Palpatine? Here's thing? this. Doubt. All right, so we're going to flip it up here and uh, change it. I, uh, Yoda. Oh, Yoda. Oh, yeah, and I'll bring up Enfys so you can see her as well. You're welcome, Matt. All right. All right, we will see. Palp and Anakin, it's just so thematic. <laughs> Unlike this garbage we've got over here, Yoda, yeah. Enfys, Vader's the... Fist, that is as far from theme as one can get. I don't know, Enfys went and hired the Vader's Fist, maybe. Yeah. I, I doubt it. That didn't happen ever. This is possible. Be a, a smart, fast talker. I'm going to try this. We'll see what time it is. After I try. I'll be, uh, we'll be done after this try. Um, I don't know. It could go quick. That's true. Either, either direction. I, I think there is a, a game where Palpatine goes nuts. Well, I'm just I'm wondering if like it would make more sense to be on this with Elite both. Yeah. For two damage? You never use this. No. Not to say that I couldn't have. Couldn't have. Well, I would the, certainly, so I will say this. I would take both any copies of those events out of the deck. Can you do that? I could. I don't have anything to replace them with this handy. That's fair. Yeah, no, I just mean in general. It's yeah. like I only ever maybe needed one instance of either of those. Yeah, so you have them here instead of in the deck. I think yeah. that's fair as well. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, here we go. All right. You want to cut? You're good. Still don't, after all these years. I'm... Still don't. Mulligan one. Key. We'll see. I don't think I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, there's a lot of like conditional cards in this deck, so it's risky in that way. I do love right. conditional cards. Don't you? I feel like Why that's is, your dream. What's Pacify up to you? Uh, you remove a character die, give it two shields. So if you don't have a die you don't want, you can get two free shields. Or if you just, a lot of times, like if I have three shields, mm -hmm. you can remove it and give me nothing. Yeah. OK. OK. OK, OK. Unlimited power. Here comes three damage. Yeah, but I, I think the main thing here is that, like, 
seeing lightsaber mastery just not do much for you means that I would rather just have another <laughs> die. I gotta tell you, man, I, I gotta do something different. About your shuffling? Yeah. <laughs> you wanna yeah. roll? Oh my gosh. It's just <laughs> horrible. Uh, three. Hey, five. All right, who's Battlefield? I'll take the Theed, the, the one I'm supposed to do. Uh, Theed. Yeah. Theed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go here, see if I can bait you into attacking Anakin. Uh, trigger your plot, so I'll do two to Yoda and draw a card. Two to Yoda. Coming in. It's not the ideal card to draw. All right, you're up. Okay, this is going to be weird. Oh, it's going to be weird. Is it? Yeah. Um, let's start with the Odes. All right. Discard special. The Ode is good. I will doubt the special. They get to resolve it. Resolve that one. Yeah. Okay. Gain a cash and change a die. Yep. You can discard the top card of my deck. Mm -hmm. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Let's get emphasis in here. Oh boy. Okay. Let's activate Anakin. Okay, two damage if you want in them. Mm-hmm. I feel like I've got just one bajillion options. One um, bajillion, yeah, welcome to Yodaville. <laughs> he makes money better than a smuggler. Like, what's that about? Why does Yoda make money? I don't know. I don't know how this works. Okay, let's uh, let's go here, gain a cash, and make this a thing. Oh, Lordy. Uh, let's go Cherizu training. Power action uh, five on that. Here? Yeah. Two and a three. You don't want to see unlimited power? We'll <laughs> go with Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see unlimited power. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. That's the hardest one to remember. All right, special and a two damage showing. Okay, let's uh, easy pick this special. Oh man, got rocks. <laughs> got rocks. Let's go two damage to Yoda. What's that blank worth to you? Nothing, right? Nothing yet. Um. I'll feed, and then I will pass. You didn't already feed? Mm-mm. You wish I did. I do wish you did. I just haven't, uh, let's see, two, make sure I didn't. Easy pick, you should have five, because you got two money with Yoda, right? Yeah, two money with Yoda, two normally, and then feed, and then one for picks. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we will power action to roll this in. Is that the two shieldy? Two shield and the free Cerezo Mastery, if I got it. We can't let that happen. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Uh, uh, you got a bunch of cards in there? My hand? Let's hit mode of that. What do we call special? Two specials. Yeah. Nope. Um, let's focus into a resource. I know how important money is. It's very important. But here's the thing that I know. Let's say I control that die. You claim feed. You get the money anyway. That's right. So there's no point in me controlling that, as opposed to claiming the battlefield. I feel like you know something secret. <laughs> I uh, don't know. I'm claiming. Secret. All right. Uh, let's get a money with Anakin. I just gave myself good outs. So I either get the battlefield and a money, like you're correct, or I get a money and then I can play Torment, Brown. get it out of my hand, uh, and then we go to the next round. Cool. 
Do you like all control cards in your opening hand? Is that is that what the deck's built for, basically? No. Okay. Is that what you had? Yes. That's not so great. Yes, that's what I had. And now the question is, how many to ditch? Hold on to one, maybe two. I'm gonna hold on to two. It's risky. It's not that. Yeah, you need upgrades, I guess. Because now you're on six money with feed. You get two more money and Yoda, yeah. so you better have something to play with. Hit me it. with some resources, would you? How many? Just one. And I might need some more. Yeah, so gonna, there's so many. Okay. <clears throat> now we're getting somewhere. My turn. That's right. Let's see how this goes. Chance that Yoda dies this turn? Yes. There is a chance, yeah, sure. Uh, let's throw let's throw heirloom here. If it's on a blue, does it it moves, right? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't have to go to a blue. Exactly right. It just has to be on just a blue. It has to be on a blue. Yeah. Cool. Them's the beats. Let's activate my boy. Panic and Anakin. That's not bad. It's all right. It is not bad. I'm misleading that. That's you? Yeah. So you got money for days. I got money and I've got cards. You may as well use them, right? All right. Let's think about this. Hmm. If I do that and that, let's pass. Just a pass, huh? So if I pass right now, uh, P Green Street says free shipping. It's not internationally. Sorry, uh, UK. It'd be awesome. It's gonna be. We'd love to do free shipping internationally, but that's <laughs> not feasible. So on subscriptions, you'll have to pay shipping, and of course on Saga sets as well. But. Uh, saga sets. I, I don't think the shipping is that bad on like a saga set. I think it's 15, 20 bucks. So when you're actually buying that many cards at once, it's not horrible. Mm, I'm tempted to pass this out. I get another chance to go get fist. That's fair. The hard part is like you obviously give us about two money, and you have I have three dice unresolved currently. Mm -hmm. You got five. I got a lot, yeah. I probably don't then. Let's do this. Yahoo! <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> That's a Just fine, killer. Fine for me. Uh, I will. Man, I don't even know what to do to that. Um, you can laugh at it, stare at it. Let's. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You don't have any like big remove all the card, remove all the dice cards, right? like mind tricks and stuff. That's not in this. Not in the game anymore. Mm -mm. Okay. Unfortunately. Here's this one. Do you have that thing where I have to discard or Yikes. you resolve it? Um, no. Yeah, I could have that. that you could have it. Less. Yeah. Uh, let's. It's a good roll. Hidden mode of the three and call melee. Never gonna happen. Nailed it. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm gonna re-roll on this force wave, I think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Infus could get a little better, but it could also get worse. It could also turn into money. It could be a two money. So it could be the same. But better, you're gonna hit better. a special on Yoda, so it doesn't. It probably wouldn't much matter. matter. Well, let's re-roll it just in case I sure. get the three, right? <laughs> or the two money. I'd take both. There's them specials. Man, Yoda's annoyingly frustrating. Yeah. Uh, let's put a shield on Palp. You don't have easy pickings, right? That's not a thing that you no, have. No, no way. It's okay. hero yellow. <laughs> All right. If money, I did, I would take away both the specials. Money, money. This is the thing. I'm not... I'm not Currently in the destiny place where I like know the tricks, and like so the, I the can right move here. play around them. Yeah, 
Okay, that's going to be a pain. Uh, pass. Resolve all scoundrels for free. Who are you hitting? Pow. All right, one, two, three. Waiting on that torment, eh? You know it. Get a buck for free. One buck. All right. Yeah, no joke, <laughs> Hyperthemes. I agree. <laughs> That's literally the first time I've ever seen that. They were the same ones you were using back in the day. Well, it's that like confirmation bias or whatever it is. You never it's remember the, the good times. You only remember the bad. That is absolutely correct. All right, so we'll play one for a force jump. Take three. Thanks. On old Palpatine. Mm-hmm. I like calling him Palpatine for some reason. All right. That's now, his name. If you had a fist here, Palpatine. <laughs> That would be a problem for me. Well, only have four money, uh, right? Palps lightsaber. I, guess, I got two abilities, so I'll get one back. That's how that's supposed to work. That is how that's supposed wow. to work. Wow, interesting. See, see. I see how that works. See, there, see. Yeah. Uh, get feed money. I should have technically over the torment, but it's fine. That feed money. Uh, let's go with. Um, and then I'll. Uh, I guess I get to go again. I'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna overwrite the. Um, Palp Saber with a Force Storm. That's why I didn't overwrite. Yeah, see, I feel like those are good cards. It dawned on me. I mean, it's a, it's good, but I'm about dead. Yeah, so that's kind of what make I was it running into. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, your action. I really do. I'm passing until you do something interesting. Uh, P. Green Street, if you're looking at boxes with that much shipping, you you should really consider a Saga set. Um, so it's... 299 bucks, you get two of every card, one of every legendary. So it's one of every legendary, two of everything else. And I think the shipping on that is not significant. Um, I, I can't do. believe it's that much. Hold on, let me check that. That seems crazy, right? That's too much. Yeah, we'll check that out. Steven's going to be looking at that right now. All right, uh, I'm going to use Palp's power action to roll in Force Storm before activating. Whoa, You're pretty hip. Well, it just doesn't have any blanks. So Wait, why would you do that? Because I only have one reroll. So, I know it's got no blanks, so I know I can resolve it before I roll in. Like before I roll you, two okay, so you're going to roll it, and then you're going to resolve it. Oh, yeah. so that's actually a very fortunate thing to roll. Yeah, because now if you have... Um, uh, yeah, we've got to blow like a, one of these cards on it. You may as well not, unless the other one's really important. Yeah, they're, they're both quite good. Um, like, I don't want them both to go away. Hmm. Uh, they're both quite good. Let's hidden mode of that. Um, what's the worst stuff over there, the gunnies? The two, three Yeah, guns. let's call the gunnies. Mm. Come on, special. Unless it's a special. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Four indirect, wherever you'd like it. I mean, is there, like, math on this? Uh, Alan Wayne, uh, Saga set's two, 299. So 299 comes with one of every legendary from Convergence and two of everything else. I'm going to do two and two. So... I, is there a thing about this? Is there something that is like, a, you should write a blog about how to do this? No, I mean, just look at max damage. So Pal can do two, this can do a three direct. Uh -huh. So I have five direct uh -huh. potential. Um, so if you didn't put any here, I can't kill either Impossible character. to kill? Yeah. All right, we can try that. But it also just is like, well, now you're going for infos. Do you care? I guess I don't. Because she's still got eight health left. She, yeah, that's so. fair. Uh, all right, Palpatine. Because like if I do end up, if I had lethal here and kill Yoda, it's a game changer. All right, <laughs> yeah, lethal. Perfect. Lol. Well, well, well. Um, can you easy pick the worst blinks? Oh my gosh. Uh, so definitely the palp die, <laughs> and then it's probably this one, right? It's yeah. Not force you jump. let me have force jump for free. Goodness gracious, great ball. All right, let's reroll. <laughs> Goodness I, gracious, great ball. <laughs> I got a great ball so far. You know, <laughs> I was thinking better myself. <laughs> All right, got a two discard and a shield just on fi This is the di This is the problem, dude. This die is the problem. Uh, you sure we got the right stickers on there? and a shield. Yeah, I s let me make sure, actually. That'd be even funnier. <laughs> yeah, it's the right ones. You know, for, uh, for cost and four, it really just isn't quite doing what we need it to do. Uh, okay, and discard two cards for her. Cool, thanks. Uh, have I claimed the battlefield yet? You, I assumed you okay, did. Okay, yeah. That was my assumed move. I'm checking on this shipping. This is driving me, it's going to drive me crazy. It can't be that much, right? Is it that much? Oh my gosh, it is that much. 
Yikes. Why? Why? That is a lot. Yikes. Huh. Those are huge boxes. I guess. That's kind of what I was saying about a Saga set, because a Saga set ends up being about this big. Let me see what a Saga set would be. I, I want to say it's like 20 or 25. I can do it directly. Okay. Um, I know these rates just went up like crazy, too. No, dude, it's looking like it's expensive as well. For a Saga set? Yeah. Hmm. These are heavy. It's in the same range. I'm going to... Maybe that's wrong. We'll double check that. But I think I think what happened is like that USPS update that happened this year. Wrecked it. Yeah, it went pretty heavy into like, let's raise rates on international shipments. Whatever. Okay. Um, two resources. Gain some cards. Ooh. Got all the good cards in this one. That's exciting. Okay, are we done? Mm -hmm. Are we ready? You ready to get wrecked? I am certainly going to get wrecked. Hmm. Good options here. A lot of them. Yeah. This deck needs holocrons and four speeds. <laughs> okay, let's see. I can't believe that this works like this. The fist. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, it is. Um, let's play it. All right, you did it. It's cool art, though. Love it's that great. Art. Yeah. It doesn't look quite as frightening as the die. So you can roll you it enemy. If you play it, you roll it. Great. Awesome. Two shields. Uh, let's go palp saber for two, but I gain two back. Actually, yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay. I really would like to kill you right away. Mm-hmm. And my best bet is Infus, probably? Like rolling a, what would I have to do? What do you get? Six, seven, eight, seven. So three, what's three? Six, you need six damage. So I could roll double threes and just cause the game to freak out? Over, yeah. yeah. That'd be lights out. Is, that's probably worth it, right? To just. Yeah, that's, you just gotta try. And then I can roll Yoda in, and if I hit some specials, then I'm back on the scary tree. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Or I could go the cash route. Um, let's activate. Let's go find a cash. Hope machine. I get something. Didn't. Got a three, and shields, and a blank, and a resource. Hmm. 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 And this is the bad to the bone one, right? That's the one that's... That's the storm. Where's lightsaber deflect when you want it? <laughs> it died to rotation. <laughs> yeah, it did. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go here. Yodster. I'm gonna put put some pressure on. Fortunate. Okay. Now leave it alone. <laughs> nope. All right. Um. Hmm. What is the best outcome here? So you can change a die. Not that scary. Oh, I can change a die, all right. Mm. The dies will be changed. Let's think about this. Man, where's Chorizo Mastery? It's almost like the conditional nature of that card and all of the synergies around it. You're using Lightsaber Mastery well, though. <laughs> no, it's a waste of space. <laughs> it's such a waste of space. Um, all right, let's do this. I'm going to be real annoying. I'm going to play I Am Your Father. Cool. I'm either going to resolve this Yoda die against you, or you discard your hand. 
Okay, my hand is good. Assumedly. So, what's the what happens when this happens? I get to resolve it. You get a money and a change die? Yep. Or a shield. What are you going to change it to? I can't tell you that. All right, you can have it. All right, so I'll resolve this. You spent two on that? And I get a money. I get it back. So let's pay one, remove a die, and get a, a focus. Yeah. Um, I need that chorizo mastery. You yeah, uh, got it. Let's go. Hey, live chat, I got a question for you. Hey, put me on full screen. Nope, that's <laughs> me. <laughs> hey, quick question. Uh, how's the overhead shot look? We've not done overhead pretty much ever. Uh, it's funny so that let's you take a look at it. Switch to this <laughs> screen. Let's go full screen on overhead. Uh, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that's not as exciting as I wanted it. Is that clear? <laughs> Can everybody see what's going on better? Um, with that shot, that's something we've been experimenting with. Let's go. I just don't know if you can here. actually see the dice, right? right? Your action. What happened? What'd you do? I changed that to a special. Oh, yeah? Yes. Well, I'm going to feed. Mm hmm. <laughs> and then I'm going to entangle those. Mm. My heart. Oh, uh, well, power action, get that force storm back in here. Yeah. Two shields. Awesome. <laughs> Anything. Poor king. My kingdom. Okay, so we've got like a billion rolls of Vader's fist eventually. Two more left, yep. So. This is just about killing Palp this turn. Yeah. So I'm going to go on a reroll. I think that's fair. Big money, no whammies. Let me get rid of Ezra's lightsaber. I know. I know. I hate it. I love that card. I think that's a good choice. There's a piece of me that wants to hold that one. What piece of me, though? The wrong piece. Don't Probably hold that one. The piece we don't want. Yeah. Matt. The piece we don't want. The piece that we seek to destroy. Ooh. Oh, sweet lord. Woo. Hi, yay. Hi, yay, yay. <clears throat> Okay. Let's go two shields on Palpatine and your action. Cool. Okay. So it all needs to happen. It needs to all happen at once. That would be. That's what we're looking at here. Ideal. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Nay, impossible. Technically not. You could Yoda for a money and switch this to a three and then hit me for nine. I can resolve this when I resolve this power action? No, you just... That's right. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> no, I'm watching you. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, just do it like this. Just do it like this. Uh, I'm going to do this, this big yeah, one. Well, hold on. No. You have to do all same symbol. Oh, right. So yeah. that's not great. Not as good as it could have been. Yeah. All right, well, hey, let's do this then. All right, dude. Let's do Yoda Man. <laughs> Justin Allen says, please remind Steven he gets two more rolls with Vader's Fist. Yeah, right? It's like I'm going to clean it up with this Vader's Fist. Um, I want to turn this to a three. That's what I want to do. Seems good. Yeah. I'm going to re-roll. Let's see. You can hit me for six. If I find a way to get another money, I could do nine all at once. Mm -hmm. Luckily, we've already done feed. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the real question is like, could you do anything about it? If let's, I spent let's let's a let's slow roll. I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna try to get some value here. So you think Pop's gonna die? I mean, my assumption is yes. It's a good assumption, yeah. So I do six, you take three, I could knock three off, and then Vader's fist needs to hit a couple of times. And I've got reroll potentials for it. Do you resolve this? Eventually? 
I don't know. I mean, you resolve it and roll it back in. Here's why don't I why don't I just quit here? Let's just wall connected. Okay. So I get a card. Yeah. Now I can. I haven't even done the math. So wait. Hold on a minute. Six, seven, eight. Does six kill you? No. I mean, like nine Three, total. Six, nine would kill me. Okay. That's what I want. So now I can potentially do nine all at once. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's solid. right on. So, good luck. Thank you. Control it. Maybe um, that's wrong. I mean, it's probably very wrong because I'm. I'm wasting two oh, and cash. Oh, you gave me a card. Basically. Cool. Well, in that case, uh, let's overwrite. That's something that's either correct or, or not, you know? Let's overwrite Palp Saber for one. You found the master. You I just found Terezi. Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh! And I'll remove man, that is exactly that why that's wrong, though. Uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, because now I have an extra health, and I got rid of your three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I may have had that the whole time, and you didn't know it. But no, I, drew, I just drew it. I don't think you did. I mean, that's so strange. So then, Pop can end up taking none damage this turn. That's a bummer. True unlimited power. All right, let's start with this. Let's get this out of here so I can see what it becomes. <laughs> yeah, because it's four, so I put four in Anakin, you can kill him. Yeah, that seems good, right? Yeah, so I'll do three here, one here, my action. Taking that shield? Because you can't kill me now. Oh, you don't know what Vader's Fist can do. I mean, I know what Vader's Fist can do. Who knows? Who could even... Um, Who could even... Let's just get a shield on top. Boring. Oh, I took a damage. Let's get a money. Mm. You haven't used that already? Nope. Did you not take any damage this turn or something? I haven't. Not yet. That's the idea, right? Um, let's see. You got six. That's good. Nine. Yeah. And it's coming back in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here comes your boy. <laughs> it's your boy, Jack. <laughs> your boy. <laughs> Ooh, man. Okay, so hold on. Let me, yeah, let how me many run cards some you got dads left? again. One? I've got one card left. All here. right, great. You absolutely just resolve <laughs> the fist. You think so? You can resolve this for free at some point. Yeah. So, like, should we just get that out of the way? It's not changing. Well, the question mark is, do you need the removal or not? Yeah. <gasps> I do just I... remembered something. What's that? I'll show you. Do you have the minute. lightsaber mastery? I haven't used it yet, Are but I have Chorizo out. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah, you could have activated a blue character. Was this out? It wouldn't have mattered. I can just play that to remove that if you hit ranged. I forgot that was just waiting in the wings. Yeah, but you got to activate to do it. You must activate a blue character. Mm -hmm. It's I should've, way I should've, less. I should have literally anything. just done that. Did you? Did was this out when you could have activated Anakin? Yeah, just now. Well, at least do it so I can right, see that it. it works. All right, lightsaber <laughs> mastery. I'll flip over to flexing slash. Pay one. Roll out. Remove the fist. Okay. Good. Now we give my good. Excellent. Good, yes. I, it's so useless. I forgot it was there. <laughs> and it's not useless in general. It's just useless in this moment. Okay. Okay, nothing's gonna change here, so I'm just gonna start resolving stuff. <clears throat> you can fist again. Yeah, and I guess that's worth doing before yeah. resolving. Sure. I don't know. Do you have any like matchy, dewy things? Well, that's not cool. I don't know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't you feel like though you're just trying to not die the whole game? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> uh, let's go two damage to Yoda. <laughs> okay. That's why I think it's got to go Elite Palpatine. You need another die. So I ha I kill Anakin, right? You will try. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even if you put the two shields there, I kill him. So it makes your two shields pretty worthless here, as opposed to the Palp man. It's not great. All right, let's do three to Anakin. All right, great. He's tricked you. Mm. Uh, let's re-roll both of these. Mm -hmm. 
Boom. Bada boom. Bada boom. Is that a big deal? That's two damage and three damage if I want it. Hmm. Hmm. That would kill Yoda. That could perhaps kill Yoda. Then we got a stacked Palpatine against Infus. Yeah, we can't have that, can we? Hmm. Whatever will you do? <laughs> I used the, didn't I? You did, Better yeah. Mark that, yeah. That's important information to have. <laughs> do you just feel like you're trying to not die? <laughs> Uh, let's, uh... I'm gonna indifferent that thing. Mm. I play to not lose rather than to win. It's my game plan. So you can't kill me. I can't kill you. No. That's why it was the wrong thing to do. Claim. Boom! There's all that for free. On six, seven, eight, wow. you got 14, is that right? Total? Yeah, so I've got 14 health. nine health if you count the shields. So if I knock the shields off with this, there's a world in which I could I could kill you. Seven, eight. And I have to do six damage? I mean, that's definitely feasible. Mm -hmm. We've been there before. You will do six damage. Or I could try to knock Anakin off the board. and Let's split the damage. That's usually how you win in the game, right? Yeah, that's Just right. split it entirely. What are you doing with the three? I you think let's knock the shields off. All right. I'm going to kill that Palpatine. Come and get it. If ever there was a Palpatine that was going to die. Next round? One. Yeah. Yeah, he's queued up to die. <laughs> well, I'm just doing it, I think, poorly. Goodness gracious. All right, X-Wing players. This is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh, so you got the feed too. See, so, yeah, you're in a good spot. No, I'm in an okay spot. I need to move and shake here. Ryan Skinner, uh, it, yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> uh, comment earlier that Steven hasn't watched episode three. Does that mean you will try a reference Zach just made one over his head? The answer is yes. However, I have uh, Heard seen it uh, the particular part because I didn't know what it meant at first. Yeah, this goes somewhere. No, this goes away. Not yeah. that. I need that back. <laughs> Don't touch my cars. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, so Palps, a little bit on death row here. Um, you just got to roll him in. You got to roll him in and kill Yoda. Number one rule of I your round. I don't know that that's right. Because <laughs> you can't do, the only way you could do is by rolling in with Emphis, and I have answers for that. Oh, yeah? If you, like if you roll double threes or something. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just going to play a Dagger of Mortis. That's a good, that's a good one. So you're in a good spot here. Could be. Could not be, you know? Depends on what you do. It's ludicrous. Yeah, that's good. This is what it's supposed to do. Yeah. I think I think it's just your well, you're obviously playing it better. This this is not being played well at all. I mean I mean it's it's being drew, played okay. You have your hand of only uh yeah, but control. It, it's just I'm just under the curve. Huh. Um all right, well let me think about how to do this then. I think you know, based on this hand, this is a really fascinating, fascinating thing. Okay, let's go Yoda. Oh, Yodels. Okay. Money, disrupt, and money and something. Here comes unlimited power. Let's see if we need some shields, at least. That'll be worth something. Oh, it's unlimited, Zach. Uh -huh. Unlimited. Don't you feel that? See, you get it where you got all these. It's just a terrible roll. It's okay. Uh, four indirects with with the Palpsters. Uh, shield, 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 blank, resource. No, oh, I thought you were talking that you were like resolving those. It's like, I, don't, I don't know how you're... No, I'm just listing what I got. I don't know how that works. Uh, Tom, I use Dragon Shield matte sleeves. I use all black. Um, with white as my secondary color so that all my sleeves and all my decks are, I can interchange the cards. 
and that includes between games. So that's that's what I do. I think you used mats too, right? Yeah, they're the right ones for me. Okay. Well. Think about this. Tom, we're also, we're the kind of people, you may have gathered this from the Covenant uh, brand as a whole, but we like, I think there's a general culture of trying to find the best in a category and then just using it forever. Like Zach owns 17 of those black shirts. <laughs> it's really six. Six or seven, I think, is the number. Steve Jobs. It's just, if you don't have to choose, you don't waste time. All of these shirts. I love that shirt. This one? Mm -hmm. All of these are, I only buy them. So I have, I'm on the newsletter for the factory outlet version of J. Crew, And then they sometimes have 50% off our, our warehouse that didn't sell three years ago. And so I scoop up all these shirts for like $5. That's a good deal. And I look professional. Er than yeah, I did previously. Yeah, <laughs> like five years ago, and you'll but, see. But, you know, it's like, size. it's $50. Yeah. For, like, a, a season's worth of shirts. As in, like, summer and fall. Uh -huh. Long sleeves. Yeah. And they short sleeves. Because that's how Oklahoma does. You, you think about being in, like, California, you could wear, like, only a certain type of clothes. All the time, yeah. You don't even need a coat. Yeah. That's why I have my grandma's sweater. People were asking where it was earlier. It's like, I can wear the same outfit I wear during the summer, except for I have something to put over it. Okay, uh, let's go for indirect damage. Who was eating pizza, Jim? How's that pizza that doing? Sharp. Yeah, old Jim Sharp. Jim, is that pizza good? I want a picture. You put baking soda or baking powder in the crust? Probably not supposed to. Um, for indirect, um, what's the worst way for me to do this for you? Uh, probably three on Yoda, two on Infus. That would be five total damage, but it's very clever. Yeah, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Three on Yoda, one on Infus? You think Yoda one away is... Uh, well, at this point, you're yeah, going to get the fair. value out of him. And, and then, then I might pass an heirloom. Well, if I kill him, then now I'm yeah. passing, so it makes me not want to actually kill him. Give me a... Uh, you got a one damage over there? Somewhere. I do. I've got plenty of them. All right, Thanks. now it's you. Okay, uh, let's do this three before I die. I assume to Pop? Yes, let's do it to Pop while we Two, got it. Two, three... <laughs> That's not how that works. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how it works. <laughs> he picked it up and set it back in. <laughs> Somehow in my head, it worked. <laughs> Man, okay. gotta watch it's this been a guy. Long day. Oh uh, and goodness. I'll trigger torments to gain him money. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, man, my brain is just not having it. So I take three. <sighs> It's, I, I don't know. My head is just crazy right now, I guess. Uh, let's re-roll. It's a health, though. You're at 11, and you have four... Uh, so you're at 14 total health here? Yeah, so I have three left. Okay. That's and one Vader's fist away. Shit. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Let's re-roll. Actually, no. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. Power action. Let's get the... Yeah, get the money back in. in here. Let's get it in there. Got a three. I'm going to weigh the light that thing. Okay. That's fair. Now I'll reroll. This is where I could get obnoxious because I have the special on the jump. They could blank a die. I have the special on uh, chorizo training to remove a die. I think you're just going to brick them all. Nope. Mm -hmm. Did pretty good. Two shields on chorizo, yeah, special on the jump, and two melee on uh, dagger of mortis. And the jump just blanks, right? It doesn't remove it. Yep. Okay. You going to kill Yoda with that? Let's throw the fist out. Also, important note on the fist, it doesn't have any blanks. Oh, good for it. Can't blank it. All right, uh, this is just an unfortunate timing thing. Uh, we'll play a deflecting slash, activate Anakin to remove that. Oh, right on. Yeah. I would much rather have done that with Palpatine. Yeah. I agree. But removing dice is removing dice, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's do it again. <laughs> All right, three disrupts. <laughs> Nailed it. Awesome. Um, let's go... I like these cards. <laughs> Kill Yoda, would you? Nope. Not happening. Let's go four to Infus Nest. Oh, yeah? 
one, two, three, four. <laughs> I'm going to do that forever now. <laughs> trick, I'm, never, I'm never going to not do that. I just want you to know that. Okay, so now, you know, i am kind of got myself in a bit of a scramble here. We definitely need to get these guys out here. Okay, okay. Uh, you got three damage showing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use my lightsaber mastery to play Circle of Shelter. I'll resolve this two as two shields, but I don't remove it. Oh, I yeah, yeah, because you got the mastery, yeah. Boom! Wah, wah, wah. That's how it's supposed to work. <laughs> That's good. Good. Excellent. Uh, let's do a reroll. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Big money, big money. Mm. Can't, can't, can't stop, won't stop. Let's you just got shields for days. Go power action feed. Um, then I will. <laughs> hmm. Deflect lightsaber deflect. Remember that card where you could take a range and resolve it against your for half. Yeah. Deflect is deflect, that what that was? That's what it is. Man, I'll, that card. I'll was blank that emphasis. Busted. Dice. Ah, uh, yes, I've set up the impenetrable wall. <laughs> <laughs> I will not die. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I do think that is how this one's going to go. Yeah. I didn't get nearly enough stuff out. That was the problem. I guess the only thing I discarded was Ezra's lightsaber. I, I have one Ezra's lightsaber that I could have played. Yeah, you just didn't see the other stuff. That's I guess. Weird. There's a lot of upgrades in there. It's not that I'm uh, not as good at this game. It's that I never draw as well. That's that's it, right? That's right. I'm reading that's, a book about that right now. It's got to be how it is. I think I could have killed. I should have killed Anakin last turn. You could have also dumped that damage here. Yeah, but it actually would have been kind of a soaked, a sponge oh, situation. Yeah. yeah, but this would have prevented you from doing the the one cost activate Dang. and do some stuff. Yeah. Uh, you got two cards left. Those cards. I mean, I can still try to roll double threes, right? Yep. Oh. I do have this handy dandy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you've already used your get the thing back in the thing card? What are you talking about? Your force power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, I have my power action thing here. Okay. And I have already used um, it. Okay. This is going to be a weird play. Should I get rid of this? Do you have any other control cards? Yes. <laughs> Two Dang. of them. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's fortunate to know. Yeah. I think in a real world situation, maybe I... Is that the card you really get rid of? Well. I mean, I, I, the thing about it is like, are you, are you trying to kill Palpatine still? Yeah. I mean, getting rid of either of these, I still have the three shield wall to break through. If I get rid of this and I get six damage, then I could potentially kill regardless, right? Mm-hmm. How many cards do you have? Yeah, uh, see, that, that's... I've got three. Okay. All right, I'm going to re-roll here. All right. Let's see how that does. Ah, excellent. <laughs> Nailed it. You can't That's enough to kill Anakin, technically. You don't want to blink this one because it's so low. But I will. Will you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just blank it and re-roll. Mo <laughs> <Cool>. shields. <laughs> I kind of okay. just want you to spend those cards. Yeah, well, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to play mislead. To remove that too. It's gone. And you just got a bunch of shields, huh? Shields for days. It's doing pretty good at not dying. It is doing that. You can't argue with it. Okay, let's. Uh, I guess I'll reroll. Okay. That way the light's kind of a tough one. That's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, you're going to have to resolve shields is basically what it means, right? 
It's a shame these can't resolve together. <laughs> I like the sound effects the best. Uh, all right, let's go shields. Um, definitely putting one on Palpatine. Smart. Nice. Uh, and then you have enough to kill Anakin, actually. Yes. But it's two actions. It's two actions. This so is the problem. Pass. Okay. If you want to do some damage to Anakin, I'll load him up. I mean, I guess, right? That's probably best. So I do three to Anakin. You put three shields on. I do three to Palp. You claim? At, at least if you do three to Anakin, you get damage in. Mm -hmm. And you have two treasure lightsabers you haven't seen. So if you're on claim, I feel like you have unblockable to get under this shield yeah. that I put on. Or his, technically. Three to Annie. Annie. With this ability. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'll put three shields on Anakin. Anakin. And I like that. Yeah. I'll take three. And then if you want to on palp. Yeah. And so if you want to shield it or claim, it's up to you. Yeah. Or you could reroll mm -hmm. and kill Yoda. That is the goal. That's terrifying. That's for sure. You won't do it. Do it. Impossible. Because let's have that focus on Palpatine. But if you don't, man, and I claim and I get feed and That's I get to go good. first, you're done. Bad news. You are done. It's not great. Uh, you're right. I'm claiming. All right. Uh, I'll get a money with Anakin. And we'll put two shields on Palpatine. All right. Gain two cash. Stand up. Somehow this game continues. Deliver. <laughs> Don't you know enough to know that that deck is needing some work? This deck? Absolutely. Yeah. I've never known a deck that needed more work. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. <clears throat> All right. All right, I've got to think about this, this idea. It's got to just be a go with Yoda, right? Right, doesn't it? It's got to be. I think you're. You're. Yeah. I don't think I'm wrong. For all the reasons, unless you have a treasured, because um, you're gonna get value out of him, and I'm back in the situation where if I kill him, Infus gets the upgrade. But now the hard part of this is you need damage. I need damage, and, and I only got got Inf three. At Infus max. has three health left. Yeah. So if I can get Infus off the board after you activate Yoda, it's a it's a long road. It's a bad one. What am I supposed to do about that? <laughs> Not lose. I'm That's on right. it. I'm on it. Don't worry. Chief. I'm on it. Okay, let's see here. Decisions, decisions. It's why we play the game. Yeah, we're going to have to make a... Nathan was saying we need a bigger character board for Pout. We're going to have to make a two-row die character board for these wild cards they're putting out. Thanks, Jeremy. Okay. I, I do. I, I don't, just don't have time to play an upgrade. But what am I really going to get out of Yoda's dice here? The max I get is three damage, maybe some shields that could prevent Infus from dying. But so if, maybe I, not Yoda. if I play an upgrade, then you activate Palpatine. If you... And then it goes real bad. The thing about going with Yoda first is that if I then kill him, you get heirloom on Infus. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is, if you go with Infus... If you get four damage showing, you can kill Anakin if I don't do something. Yeah. Or... Killing Anakin is not the greatest thing on my list right now. If I got a 3-2 or a 3-3, three, three, I'd kill Palp, wouldn't I? I'm just doing some hot and loose math here. I haven't actually counted. He's got five health left for right now. Okay. So, so a 3-2 or a 3-3 three, three would kill on... Or at least threaten it. It would threaten it. If you're at the, the final table, what would you do? I think you'd roll Infus. Maybe. If I'm a guessing person, I think you would roll Infus. I don't know the answer. I'm going to roll Yoda, though, because I don't like to win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the right answer is. Okay. Interesting. That is not, not exactly where we wanted to be at the end of this, but um, let's... Activate Palpatine. I haven't rolled this. We haven't seen a single speckle on that Force Storm. No. That's for the magic. You sure the sticker's on it? It is. 
<clears throat> Sweet rolls, bro. Yeah, yep. yep. <laughs> just nailed it. All right, uh, a bunch of shields and blanks and no damage. There's a plus three showing, but it's not doing much. Yippee ki -yay. You don't have any tricky secret kill me stuff? I might. I mean, maybe. I don't... There's a card that would be a surprise, I think, to you. Hmm. Have you heard of Conflicted? Hmm. Do you remember seeing that earlier in the deck? Yeah. Oh, just an immediate two damage. Well, I reroll a character die, and if I hit damage, I do two damage. And if I don't hit damage, I get two shields. Is an option. All right, well, then let's do it. Wait, you have conflicted. I have conflicted. So that's just reroll to get two shields. Yeah. Well, it means you're conflicted, can't kill me. That's correct. Eat it, Zach. <laughs> Two awesome. Shields. Thanks, Yoda. He did it. <laughs> Man, that's the Yoda I've come to know, too. Just don't hit that special. I think holding the focus is fine. I mean, it's going to... Because I need all the damage happening at the same time. Mm -hmm. I could re-roll the focus. Yeah. Let's re-roll with Yoda. I mean, not Yoda. Palpatine. Three ranged, two melee on Palpatine, a blank, and a two shield. It's pretty good, too, because you had easy pickings. I could have rolled so many things that would have been terrible for me. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yup. Yup, yup, yup. <clears throat> Any other die have a melee side on this spread? Does These mastery do anything? No, nope, okay. just those two. But then Annie, Anakin does. Mm -hmm. Good old Annie. Annie! Annie, <laughs> Annie. I think I should roll Infus. You should have rolled Infus. Yeah, I think so. Uh, okay, I could make you spin the five on Yoda. That's a reasonable thing to do. What is this guy? Is that the two shielder? Mm-hmm. It's so annoying. I need <laughs> dice. It just won't die. Dang it. <laughs> I need you it. You didn't draw dice? I didn't draw any dice. Are no, you serious? I have them all right now. Oh, okay, that's great. Like, that's exactly what, I, what you want. That's not what I want. Right now you want like easy pickings and tangle. Right. Just I definitely, okay, so I'm going to play this in tangle. Okay. I feel like it's the first thing. My initial reaction is to go here and here. Or here. Um, that's fine. Shields is whatever. Okay. This that's will good. actually stop me from damage. Yeah, I think that's fair. For the rest of the game. Potentially. This you can't roll in, unless you hit Anakin, which is likely. I could also maybe kill him in time. If you kill Yoda here, I roll out. I could threaten damage on Anakin, so you could never resolve that. That's my thought process. I think that's fair. These are good. Or I could take this away. I'm just letting you know. I could take these away and then make you spend both of these dice on Yoda. I think if you take those away, I just kill Emphis. Oh, right on. Yeah, that's the reason I would do it the other way. Yeah. But if you, technically I still can, because mm -hmm. I can just infus here. Yeah, I guess you have to, don't you? Sort of, I can just kill Yoda here too. Yeah, that's the, so should I make you waste the five on it? Probably? Yeah, probably. Let's do that. I think this is the smart Yeah, one. let's do that then. Now I also get to roll this bad boy back in. Yeah, yeah, but that's just Palpatine being Which Palpatine. Is Palpatine being Palpatine. Okay. So now I will do five damage to Infus, and I think actually, let me read Dagger. Before you resolve this die, you can move a shield from a blue character to the attached character, so I'll move one from Yoda to Palpatine. Wow, that's good. Even Baggage. if you don't resolve against him? Yeah. That's a good dagger. Dagger. That's a good dagger. <clears throat> okay, yeah, so this is bad. <laughs> it's not awful, actually. Because you're going to focus into seven damage, which is real. Um, let's... Where did that seven come from? You know something I don't? Oh, it's got a four indirect. I'm not going to take indirect damage right now. I mean... i got to kill something, yo. That's fair. Well, let's go Anakin. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. Murdered it. Oh, my gosh. 
Um, uh, good luck. No, you got it. <laughs> All <laughs> right. So yeah, so obviously you're. The, Let's talk about changes. Real the quick. skill yeah. barrier is is the biggest problem here. Well, um, I I don't think that's also that's partially true. I think this deck is worse objectively. It is definitely worse. I mean, we know that it's worse. For um, sure. you didn't draw. You had like five or six money and had nothing to do with it pretty early. And then you draw your upgrades on the turn when you needed anything but upgrades. You know what also happened was um, I didn't kill Anakin. That should have just happened. Yeah. You never split your damage. Because obviously his dice are gone, and this you gets never way split your damage. Yeah. You, you definitely did. I learned that, that as lesson well. every time. You um, know? Yeah. I th I think I won because I like there's a two or three little things you did that gave me a, a mm -hmm. window, and then I took advantage of those. Um, I think Infus should have probably been rolled out that last turn. First. Also, yeah. Yeah, I think um, ultimately... Conflicted was bad. One of two things needs to happen. Palpatine has to be elite. You could l run Lightsaber Mastery, but I think the right call is switching Anakin for Talzin. She's 12 points, only 9 health, but she has the Reveal the Top card of your deck if it's odd, change of items right, on your choice. Yeah. Then you go a little heavier on the odds, you get rid of the move events from your deck. Um... And you put Witch Magic in, the pay one, yeah. really the top three, heal. Card's good. Yeah, it's really good. That's it's, really good with Palp, too. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, and then... One die Talzin? Two. Oh, my gosh. But she's ranged. Two die Talzin, one die Palp? Two die Palp. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? <laughs> why would you do this? It's because you love Anakin so much. It's not because That's why it happens. It's because I had Lightsaber Mastery in. Mm -hmm. But it's not nearly as good. Uh, as I want it to be. It was yeah. it was fine here because I got Sarisu out. It actually, I mean, so this this little guy, I think, saved the game, right? When I removed your so that was pretty cool. Fist. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the the thinking was I have to run so many upgrades to take advantage of Palpatine that having two events that I always have access to is decent. Mm -hmm. Like I have a removal card. And I know Vader's fist in the meta, um, but I just don't think it's fast enough. Like it's not it's not good enough. Yeah. Um, so having a two two dice characters, I think, goes a long way. His two focus is great, but he has both the melees. And Talzin would give you uh, a little bit of time, presumably, with Witch Magic. A little bit more time to get built up. And she would give you a little more consistency. Yeah. Like, be able to focus this Force Storm into a special, forcibly. And then it's like, all right, do it, roll it back in. Yeah, that's necessary. Like, that's, that's really strong. It's going to be way better. We already yeah. know it. Yeah, so I'm uh, someone's just tuning in. We're just now finishing. Magnus, so. yeah, no new spoilers, nothing. We're just playing with some CODs, just playing with the ones we've already got previewed. Yep. All right. Uh, is that it? That's it. This is. Uh, we've been doing Destiny for a little while. We're going to back off of Destiny, do some Keyforge, I think, next week. Um, we'll do some Transformers in a couple Arkham of weeks. We've got Arkham coming up. We've got Arkham coming up. That'll be fun. I think we're going to do... Hold on, let me just check. And we also have... I mentioned it earlier, but we do not know when Convergence is coming out. We think it's pending. I mean, it's going to be at some point in the near future. Um, so if you haven't hopped on a Booster Box subscription or a Dude, Saga set... hit them with the ad. Now is the time, yeah. We're, we're going to test out the tech. Yeah, uh, Now is the that. time. We have a limited number of Saga sets available. Um, Buy my book. And whenever the, the, we get the date, basically, the deadline for subscriptions is over. So if you want to automatically get those, you can sign up. It's kind of like an automatic pre-order system. Um, we also have these gold tokens we've been using uh, on the screen. And we're going to be sending a handful of sets of those out with Saga sets and subscriptions for Convergence. So if you want a chance at winning those, hop on that. And, of course, everyone buying from us is how we can do stuff like this stream tonight. So we really appreciate it. And a little update on the schedule. We've got Keyforge Reversal Format on the stream next week. So Jonathan huh. and I, I believe, are on that stream. Playing your worst decks. And we are going to bring what we consider our worst decks. And then we're going to play them. We're going to swap. We're going to play again. And then maybe we'll play some normal Keyforge as well and just choose some decks that we like and play those. Then the week after, uh, or I might not, I'm not, I'm not on one of these. We're going to do the first scenario of Circle Undone. Am I playing Jonathan and Arkham Horror. I think you might be. And then you and I are playing Arkham? Yeah, something like that. Because I, ha I haven't really played Arkham. And you're yeah, we're going to teach you how to play Arkham and really enjoy it. Yeah. So we're doing the first scenario of Circle Undone uh, two Mondays from now. And then the Monday after, we'll do, uh, hopefully, the Transformers live stream for Rise of the Combiners, which the new set will have I'm come out. I'm excited about that. And it continues to get interesting, more and more interesting to me. Have um, you seen the Turbo Draft? No. Oh, wait, yes, I did. I did. That it looks cool? great. Yeah, yeah it looks really It's cool. like a really, uh, is it a really small? It's uh, two packs. It's two packs, right? Yeah, yeah. it's so funny. And you then, draft two packs. So you, you get two characters, you play them. 
no matter what they are. Right, yeah. And then you get... And then it's just the, like... The packs are like seven cards. Turn in and burn. And you draft them. Yeah. So you get 14 cards in your deck, and then it's just like, go. Go. That's um, cool. I love that. But two that. packs, I mean, that's... Again, we say draft is so easy to learn and so easy to play. That's like eight bucks. Very cool. It's so cheap, and it's so fun. Make our uh, make our little windows bigger. Which windows? Those. Our people? Yeah. Look at that. There we are. Look, now it's in talk mode. Live stream, getting stronger. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you guys so very much for uh, for watching us. I hope that you will tune in next Monday to watch some Keyforge, even if you maybe never played it. or uh, It'll be a good time. Not consider it interested, or not consider yourself interested mm-hmm. in it. Uh, you should check it out. Um, we'll be having a good time and playing some decks, and if nothing else, you can hang out on the chat and talk about how you wish you were watching Destiny instead. Uh, and then the week after, I encourage everybody to join us uh, two Mondays from now to watch the first scenario of the new expansion for Arkham Horror, the card game. That's a game that if you've never played, if you're not really you know, sure what it's about, just watch us play it. You will know immediately if you will enjoy it. And I've had multiple will, people in the past week. It will week be an enjoyable experience. Saying they weren't interested in that game, and then they watched their learning series for it, and then played it, and have been just like me. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting it. The theme, it's co-op, right. not typically my bag, and it's just incredible. It's yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna get a full education yeah, on I, it. I played early with the core set, and that's it. So yeah. I'm get ready. Gonna revisit. I'm I think we should have it. you make a character too. We should because that's a big Absolutely. part of the experience. That's, I was assuming we we're gonna do that. We'll make you make you do that. Um, so we appreciate that, guys. The last call on Saga sets for Star Wars Destiny Convergence set is coming up at some point once we hit that release date, or at least know what the release date is. We'll know more about when those are closing, but uh, it could be really any time. We all know how sometimes these Destiny releases are like, hey, here it is. The uh, the expectation <clears throat> was kind of March, and so we usually find out about two weeks in advance, mm-hmm. and once we find out, it's when we have to lock everything in, and that's when no more subs, no more Saga sets, so um, that literally could be any day. Yeah. Um, but it also Hopefully could be who later, knows okay. when, so we'll see, but uh, if you were wanting those, you should hop in. Have we done it? Magnus, can't wait for Circle Undone. Great. It's going to be fun. I'm Great. excited Magnus, about it. we'll see you there. Thank you guys uh, again. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you next week. And we are going to click this button, but it's not up yet, so we're going to have a little awkward silence. It's like when you say goodbye to your friends and then you walk out to, to the same car. The same car. Or like the same area of the car. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I just can't even. Okay, here we are. I've done it. Goodbye to we're all. We're out of here.